And I'm back. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the first stream of the week. How's it going, guys? I'm your host, Oats. And I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. I mean, my weekend has been pretty hectic, right? Like, I didn't really particularly enjoy my Sunday because I had to do something that I really don't like doing. So, basically, what happens happened was... I, you know, I wanted to streamline my YouTube content creation process a little better, right? So although it was like really tempting to edit videos and put post them up on YouTube, like as soon as possible, I got to like create a system that allowed me to kind of like post it like wait a bit faster. And in order to do that, I had to invest a lot of extra time in, uh, you know, creating an art template for my thumbnails. How's it going, big boss? How's your weekend, bro? How's everyone in chat? What's up, Agar? Oh, by the way, B, thank you so much for the 19 months, man. That's a really legendary resub. Thank you so much, B. I hope you've been doing well. Uh, make sure you guys only sub when you are financially stable. You know, don't sub beyond your means. But uh, thank you. Thank you so much. What's up, Rilla? And also, back to topic. Yo, so I've been like really like uh trying to streamline my youtube process right so how it basically looks like is so i don't think you guys know this but i actually use my my twitch emotes as a branding material for my thumbnails so whenever someone sees my thumbnails like something like this uh part of it is like actually my twitch emotes i just modify my twitch emotes a little bit but what you guys may not realize is like my Twitch emotes are not actually uh intended for my YouTube, right? So when I did the emotes, I just designed it within a square. So everything had to fit perfectly within a square, right? So I didn't draw out the parts that go past the square. So let me show you guys an example. So this would be a good example, right? So this is an emote. And if you can see the red background behind it, uh, you know, I know, I know you can barely see it. Uh, be past the red background, the red square behind this emote, the emote is not supposed to show past that, but I had to draw past that because I'm going to grab this emote and use it in my thumbnails. So you'll see me like make a thumbnail and I would use that face and I would change up the background and I got to make it like more clickbaity. So I had to like spend 10 hours going through every single emote that I've ever created for this channel uh, just so that I can draw out the missing pieces because the thing that I noticed was whenever I did make YouTube, YouTube thumbnails, I was drawing and redrawing it each individual time because I wasn't in going, I, I wasn't willing to invest the time to just like get the template right in the first place. So my weekend was pretty hectic, bro. Like I did that. And um, I mean, I did rest really well on Saturday. I didn't really do anything, even though I intended to go edit videos. But, uh, you know, once like my Saturday came around, I was like so incre incredibly fatigued, right? Like all I could do was like, lie on my beanbag and play with my Nintendo Switch. And uh, I've been playing a lot of like uh, Dark Souls. I, I'm, I'm also replaying Final Fantasy VII, the original FF7 on my Switch. And uh, I think I do have some things to discuss from it, but I think let's get, get into Ghost of Tsushima, bro. So that's uh, my update for my weekend. I uh, hope you guys been doing good. So uh, let me pull up the death counter for this one. Uh, shit, where's my death counter real quick? Let's see. All right, here we go. That's my death counter. So, so far, I'm playing this game on lethal. I have died about like 14 times. Not too shabby. This game is awesome. Yo, hell yeah, this game is awesome, Gar. Are you really far into it though? I, I would say I'm really early on. You know, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to practice more, right? Like, obviously. Damn, this game is beautiful. Jin looks for allies as he devises a strategy that, to breach the Khan's defense and rescue his captured uncle, Lord Shimura. Damn. I don't remember leaving off the game looking like this, but I got a hat. Yo, check this out. I got a hat. So there's only one little thing that I did off stream, which was I, I wrote a haiku 
which is if you guys don't know it's like a japanese poem but it's like very like uh you know mindful and self-inflective so haikus are kind of like that right they are based off like observations of real life or your inner self hey what's up ocs how are you doing man talk to me bro how was your weekend bro yo all right chill all right, i'm gonna look at the map a little bit so i've basically uncovered the fog over there for some reason i haven't uncovered the fog here this is the called the izuhara clearing so right as of right now i'd like to head towards the golden temple because apparently this is a sanctuary for people trying to escape the mongol invasion but also, there is an undiscovered location here, so you might want to check that out. Yo, are you pre you 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 won't you already finished this game of guard? Thank you, man. I appreciate you saying that though. Damn, you really like bum rushed this game, man. Like how how quickly did it take you to this to complete this game? There are like so many side quests and shit. <laughs> Yo, uh, let me get my horse real quick. Okay, I don't know why I just pulled out my sword. Okay, the wind is actually going behind me. Hey, what's up, Kage? Let's roll, boy. The weather is a little shitty today, man. Maybe I should play the flute. Damn. I think the rain was about to st stop anyway, but since I played the flute, it is really stopping. Damn. Hey, Anonymous, thank you so much for gift subbing Agara tier 1 sub, bro. I appreciate that. That's very generous of you. Thank you, sir. And Agar, enjoy your sub badge, enjoy your sub emotes, and welcome to the old Army. You worked your butt off doing side jobs? Like what? Well, what kind of side job did you work on? Thank you. Thank you so much again, man. I really appreciate you, um, Anonymous. Yo, what, what's this chest doing out here, man? Did I open this? I think I did. Hmm? Uh, Agar says, yeah, what I do is the main missions and then I liberate the parts of the map. I got you, man. So basically what I'm doing is a combination of like, oh, whoa, whoa, chill. Bro, I don't even know, man. Oh my God, there's like a major patrol. Those are Mongolians. Oh my god, you see the Mongolian like like patrol on the road? Those guys got armor, man. I tried fighting them like one time, but like there were so many of them I couldn't take them all on. Also, I think that's a Mongol camp. We should look into like seeing if we can do this silently. I think I already did this place. This place is familiar because it's near the cemetery. Yeah, there ain't nobody here, man. Yo, but can I get the can I get the Mongol off the horses? Yo, uh I'm gonna try to like pick them off like one by one a little bit. Let's see if I can get them. Real quick. I'm not gonna do the standoff because like I, I wanna be a little bit more like um Oh shit! They know I'm here! Standoff. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a standoff. I might actually die, guys. Okay, damn. Okay, he's- Oh! Oh shit! Okay, we gotta get- we gotta get the- the, the, the archers. Oh shit! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no! Heal. 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 Oh! Oh! Parry that ass! Oh shit! Okay, you got- You got archers. Oh shit. Oh, I can parry the arrows right now. 
Oh shit! No, no, I, I, I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's death number fifteen. So here's the thing. Here's the thing that I I didn't even know was a thing, right? I didn't even know that when a guy has a shield and a sword, he can do like an un, like a red attack. Right? And I'm kind of questioning like why couldn't I parry that? Right? Because the, I mean like I can parry like most abilities and like I I know for a fact that whenever a guy uses a spear a red glint will appear, right? And so far, I'm not able to parry that. I have to dodge that shit. But why can a guy with a sword and a shield do that, like, do an attack like that? That's really, like, I've never seen that, actually. You can't parry red attacks, Agar. Oh, I got you, man. Like, eventually, is it possible, like, if I level up the right, like, um, you know, um, skill thing, can I, like, eventually parry that shit? See, it's very weird, right? Because they say, like, you can actually parry unblockables. The red attack is... I would say... Okay, so can you block the red attacks, though? Oh, you can level it up. Okay, okay, I got you, man. Man, I feel salty because, like, I really felt that I got them. You know what I'm saying? I still got it, though. I still got it. Like, I, I still got, like, them parries and shit. But, you know... You live and you learn. Yo. Are they all gone? I think like when you respawn, I think the enemies like all disappear. Man. It'd be so cool if I can get the run back, you know what I'm saying? I want the run back. Dude, I really practice, bro. Uh, Alright, let's get my horse. Okay, so where is the wind going to take me? So I want to go discover a an undiscovered location. So we got to go through here. So I already cleared out that camp, right? But for some reason, the fire is like lit like super heavy, man. Uh, oh my god, look at that. Look at the dead body at the side of the road. Holy shit. Alright, hold up guys, give me a sec. Bosses, I feel like Oats is going to pass me in this game soon. Well, I'm not really like rushing it. I'm playing it like super slow actually, like ultra slow. Like you guys saw like what I'm really doing. I'm really trying to like kill some Mongols and shit. I got so close to actually taking out like all the all of them, man. Until like I discovered like guys with shields can do red attacks. <laughs> man, that was like crazy. That was like super crazy, bro. Damn, this game is visually stunning. Oh, you're even slower. I, I would say play this game slow. Don't rush it. But also, like, are you playing this on lethal, Big Boss? Because I highly recommend it. Yo, can I take this? What What is this? You see, there's a stick here in the middle of nowhere. I'm trying to spot if there's any bad guys. Oh, shit. There are bad guys. Oh, shit. I think those are Mongolians. Yo, what's up, Uder? How's it going, man? Agar says if you upgrade exploration, you can set the wind to take you to places like shrines and bamboo breaks. Nah, I think I want to focus my upgrades on combat first and foremost, but... Holy shit. What are those guys doing over there? Oh, shit. Those are bandits. Oh, shit! Oh shit. Oh, are they dead? Woo, that was sick. Yo, you see how my outfit is actually covered in blood? That looks tight, bro. 
Yo. Okay. Yo. I could have done that better, man. Really. My kunai is full. Damn, poor civilians, man. They were like literally robbing them in the middle of nowhere. What is that over there, though? You see that? Let me check the map a little bit. So that's a new location, undiscovered. I think I'm gonna approach it on foot. Oh, well, let me take that flower. You guys like my new hat? I know it ain't much, but it's something, right? I think I traded like 20 flowers to get this hat from like a general store guy. Yo, big boss, if you're playing this on lethal, bro, my respects, man. I respect everyone playing this on lethal. Oh, hold up. Yo, something might be happening over here. Yo, they got like... It is a Mongol camp. I think we should definitely utilize some stealth while we're here. I think they definitely have a high ground where I can like try and... Oh, liberate Ogawa Dojo. Mongol territory. Okay, wait, chill. So I think like, let's not storm inside immediately, right? Like what I want to do is like, I want to like, at least like um, scout the perimeter and see if they have any weakness. Yo, Aaron is here. Yo, what's up, Aaron? How's it going, bro? Dude, it's been such a long time since I played like basketball with Aaron and uh, Helix and all that. Holy shit, what the fuck? There's a dead person in here. Yo, if you bow towards like a dead corpse, you can actually pay your respects to them. Yo. All right, chill. There, there's like wild boars here. I think I could use some predator hides. Oh shit, I think I scared them off. No, that was my hide. Yo, yo, how's it going, Aaron? Aaron, do you still play basketball on Sunday with Helix? I mean, uh, you know, you know who I'm talking about, right? I'm not going to say real names in chat because like, you know, I want to keep your uh, identity incognito, you know? Oh shit, we got lots of dead bodies here. Whoa, this game is so pretty, man. Long time no see, great to see that you're doing well. I'm doing really good, Aaron. Damn. So I'm guessing Aaron and Helix are, uh, you know, you guys are uh, doing business together pretty soon. It looks like it, you know? Oh, when I bow to this guy, I can't seem to pay any respects, but you should take a look at this place. There seems to be a Mongol like a uh, tent outside here. Okay, I'm trying to use my listening to hear if there are people inside. Recover sheesh Sashimono banners. Damn. Okay, chill. I think there's someone inside the tent, maybe. Oh, oh. I think someone almost noticed me, but I don't know where they noticed me from. Oh, shit. Okay, you can stand off here, but I don't want to stand. I think he almost saw me. Oh, they got a guy on the tower watching down. Yeah, they got a guy on the tower watching down. Okay, I think we gotta shoot the guy on the tower, bro. Oh, shit. Mm. 
Damn. Okay, I can't really see him because like he has that thing blocking him. We gotta wait until he's in the open. Oh, we should gather to watch the NBA playoffs. Yo, let me know when, man. I'll join you guys. I can see him a little bit, but he's like really kind of well hidden. I don't know why I didn't see him much earlier, you know? Oh, he is like, oh, I thought he was standing behind something, but his ropes, his ropes make it look like he's standing behind a flag, you know? Oh, headshot, headshot. Okay, we got rid of the, we got rid of the guy watching this whole area. I only have like 10 more arrows, so I gotta be more like careful about that shit. Man, no wonder, no wonder he almost saw me, man. He was just like right up there. Okay, there's no one inside the tent. Okay, this guy is actually walking back and forth. Headshot! Okay, so usually I can usually go in and fight like straight up, but this time I want to practice my stealth. So there's no one here. Ooh, they got steel. Nice. And uh, what else they got? I think that's all they got. Okay, I don't think there's anyone outside. Oh wait! There's someone prepared. You see, there's someone inside there. He's kind of prepared, but I don't even know why he's prepared. Whoa, they got the Impale and Samurai over there. That's cold, bro. I need to get the high ground. Okay, we, we are not going to go through the front entrance, but I think we should try to get the high ground. I'm really taking this part slow. I don't want to fuck up, you know? I wanna like, though, look at that. How convenient is this, this thing here? Okay, chill. Okay, climb. All right, this is a guy. I think he's like literally practicing archery or something. Oh, he's a spear guy. Nice. Okay, I wonder how many more bad guys are in here. It, it looks like a really big place. Okay. I'm using my hearing to look around. Oh, there's another guy there. I think I heard like someone earlier like practicing archery, but I don't know where they are. I definitely want to take care of the archers, you know? What a conveniently placed tree log, yo. By the way, a Helix, what, what is Aaron doing at your place? Like, are you guys doing business right now? Ooh, we got four arrows. Now I got like maximum amount of arrows. It almost sounds like someone is practicing archery, but I think it's just the, the trees uh, swinging. Oh, there's like someone over there. Oh, they are practicing archery. Okay, maybe we can shoot them from on top of this building. Okay, there is someone inside though. Oh, they got sleeping Mongols and shit. Okay, we can probably kill the guy who's sleeping. Oh. Ooh, that was sick. Damn, that was tight. 
Okay, there's a guy behind a wall here. I think we can stab him for sure. It looks like he's doing something. Maybe he's looking for stuff. Oh, they got records here. Ladder. Oh, 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 oh. He, could, he can see me from there. Okay, let's just go here. Oh, he's here to see me? Aw, oh, thank you, Aaron. Thank you for dropping by, uh, you know, Helix's house to see me. Obviously, I'm not saying Helix's real name because, you know, I want to protect his anonymity. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. He's just, like, right there. They don't know I'm here inside their camp. Definitely practicing my stealth. Because I think they will definitely outnumber me if I'm not careful. Okay, I'm waiting for him to turn around. Oh shit! Oh, okay, they saw me, they saw me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, okay, okay. We out, we out, we out. Oh. oh shit! I'm dead, I'm dead. So whenever he does the blue attack, it's an unblockable. I, I, I actually can parry that, can I? I fucked up. I'm playing this on lethal, so... I have to restart. It's okay. It's okay though, because like, I, I like a fresh start. Ooh, that was tight. Uh, you see how the spear attack was white? You can parry. I think that was blue, right? There was like one that was white. There was one that was blue. But it's almost like I got to be careful of the red one. I want to also parry the red one. Oh, shit. Where is this guy walking to, man? There was a spear guy, but I think he's like patrolling. He could be like a patrol guy. Oh shit, it's almost sunset. Oh, oh. He almost saw me. I think we can definitely stab him in the back. Oh, it should be 16. Thank you. Thank you, Helix. It should have been 16 deaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right, man. As long as it's not red, you can parry. Okay. I, I freaked out a little bit, you know? Nice. What did that guy say? He said something to Jimbagara. Yeah, let me climb this thing. Maybe he have like uh, more uh, arrows. Oh, I remember there was like a, a thing here. I can go and take that thing. I don't think there's anyone inside, so let's just go in. Oh, I already took the resource, so the resource is with me. That sunset is lit, bro, dude. What's up, man? Uh-oh, is he gonna walk here? Oh, he is. Ooh, that was tight. Can I take any supplies? Okay, I definitely want to take care of the archers. If I take care of the archers, I can definitely fight a little bit better in peace. Man, I, I panic a lot whenever I'm fighting guys in spears, right? Like, I really gotta isolate like one spear guy and just practice against him all day. Because that's how I really learned from uh, Dark Souls, right? Like, I would isolate one enemy at a time, and then I would just, like, practice again and again with the same guy. Hey, what's up, bro, dude? Uh, I had a pretty good uh, Sunday, although I was, like, really tired because I was, like, technically, like, working. But uh, how about you, man? How was your Sunday?
think he's dead. <clears throat> okay. So I think I can shoot the guy with the arrow. Once he go collect the arrow, I'll shoot this, the guy. So each time the guy will go back to, to gather the arrows. Road to CC was good, ate good food, played great games, and now here. Do, do you play this game, by the way? He's observing it for a really long time. Oh, they take turns like actually observing the arrow thing. Oh, headshot. Headshot. Okay, very nice. Headshot. So I took him out before he can call his friends, right? Okay, that guy seems a little bit more alerted. But I'm really good with shooting. I'm really- I have really good aim because like I play a lot of Genji, bro. And I also play as a sniper back in Team Fortress 2. Okay, we can stab this guy. Oh shit, shit, shit. He's coming here. Okay, but he might have a friend that can see from in front. I think he's just saying something about sake, man. Okay. I guess I'm not really gonna approach him, I'm just gonna shoot him in the head. <sighs> oh shit, shit, shit. Yeah, they don't know I'm here, they don't know I'm here. You still playing it? It's a good game? Oh shit, they call the cavalry. Okay, they might- Oh, what the fuck? Do you guys hear dogs? I could hear dogs, bro. Fuck, I hope they don't bring out the dogs. I hope this guy doesn't drop down here, man. I'm like being so quiet. I need to practice against a spear guy, honestly. Show them your Hanzo steel. Yeah, I could go fight, but you know. I'm just being very, very careful. Oh man. Ooh, that was tight. Damn, the, the, the kills are so satisfying. Whenever you kill someone, they play this like drum sound, like doom, you know? It feels like so, like, I don't know what's the name for it. Like, so like, um, like whenever you, you collect a coin in Mario, it's like, -ding, -ding, you feel good about it, right? It's kind of like that. Oh shit. The guy almost saw me. Oh, can I climb up here? Oh no, I can't. Damn. Yeah, this guy was talking mad shit, bro. He was like, come at me, bro. I think there might only be a few more of them. Oh, there's still a lot of them. Okay, wait. Maybe we should try to go to the other side of the courtyard, but we are losing a lot of light. So I don't know if that's good for me. I mean, I can like take them out more quietly, right? If like we have no light. Oh shit. Headshot. 
Oh my god, I'm like fucking good with shooting, bro. Because there's a drop off, like, there's no hit scan for arrows in this game. Okay, I don't think there's anyone else here. But, you know, we're just gonna be extra careful. Hey, what's up, Sinaki? I'm playing some Metal Gear Solid right now. Inside, uh, this game. Oh, fuck. I can hear their voices, but I don't really see them. Oh, you hear someone yelling? Oh, they got a banner inside here. Sashimono banner. I got like one out of like three. Yo, Anonymous, thank you so much for the gift sub to uh, bro dude. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, sir. That's very generous of you. Thank you very much, man. Oh, there's a few more of them. I can hear dogs, but I'm like, I, I don't see them. Oh, shit. Damn, I can hear dogs outside. There's a lot of them, actually. I'm kind of glad I went with the stealth route because like, you know. Yo, bro, dude, enjoy your sub badge, enjoy your sub emotes, and welcome to the old army, bro. Oh, we got that boy. Okay, we got seven more arrows. Is that his name, Ten Twain? Oh, we got him. I don't know if he's dead. I don't think he's dead. I think he's dead. I can hear dogs though, which is like, I fucking hate dogs in video games. Oh shit, they got dogs for sure, man. Oh, he's gonna check out his friend. Ooh. Oh, headshot, bro. I'm like MLG, baby. I got like only two more arrows. But thank God I got rid of the dogs because I don't want to like fight dogs in here, you know? Fuck, this, this place is huge, man. There's like even more people inside. All right. Um, I think I'm going to go down to collect some <coughs> items because there might be some arrows I can take. Whoa, Mongol artifact. Damn. It's called a Bankar dog. Often used by nomadic herders to protect their livestock, the Bankar was first bred as a working dog in Mongolia. With the expansion of the empire, the breed is used on battlefields to sniff, sniff out and attack nearby enemies. Damn, they could have sniffed me out, bro. I felt bad killing a dog, but I have to, man. I have to. Oh, we got predator hide from the dog. It's cool. Can I get some arrows, please? Oh, there might be arrows up here, though. Okay, it got, it got, it got dark, man. I only have two more arrows, so I gotta really make them count. They, they, they seem to be guarding that, like, this main house over here, which makes me wonder what's really inside, you know? Okay, let's just go down. I think we could try to conserve my ammo and try to like stab the guy inside. Yeah, that guy doesn't seem to move very much. It seems like he's just like standing there keeping a lookout. I might fail this man, I, I don't know, I might fail this. 
A guard says you can use the Shashimono banners for new mounts for your horse. I appreciate you saying that, but I don't want to know that, Agar. I'd appreciate if no hints, no tips. But uh, thank you. I know you're trying to help me, man. Thank you, man. Okay, I'm gonna just use this arrow because like, I don't like... Oh, damn. I'm good. I'm good. Damn, I'm like... I, I'm so good with shooting, bro. Oh shit, he's gonna call the cavalry, right? I have no more arrows. Oh shit, I can hear dogs. I have no more arrows, but I can hear dogs. I don't like dogs. Okay, can I challenge this guy to a fight? Can you see me? Oh, he didn't see me. Oh shit, oh, oh he called for his friends. Okay, okay, real Yax. Oh shit, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Oh shit. Okay, all right, I'm gonna lead them out here. I don't want like to all of them to appear. Oh shit! No, 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 no. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay, I can parry that. I'm dead. <laughs> That's death number 17. Okay, so I think I should try a different approach. I should try to like challenge all of them. You know? Oh, at least like okay so they didn't respawn the guy on top the archers so they like the guys I killed they let me already let them be dead I think that's the auto save function I have I have 11 arrows oh they let the archer guy be alive again I can still hear the archer guy shooting. Ah, oh, shit. <gasps> Alright, this is bad. Oh, the guy inside is already gone. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, I gotta get rid of the archers again. Okay, they're going back to their shooting position. I gotta kill one guy when one guy goes to, like, collect the arrows. Okay, go. Someone go. Oh shit. Is someone here? Oh, there was someone here. Oh yeah, I forgot to take out the guy outside. Okay, he's on alert already. <laughs> I want to fight one guy at a time. All right, let me let me just fight this guy. I gotta really learn to get back into the fighting stance. Okay, parry. Nice. That was a good parry.
Oh shit! Good parry! Good parry, good parry. That was a good parry. Ooh. Damn, that was cool. So did you hear Hitman is coming to VR? I did, but I wasn't really excited about it. Because like, uh, I don't know how it will look like in VR, you know? It might be cool, but I don't have VR either. I gotta buy myself a VR headset. It's, uh, it might be cool. You know, I'm open-minded to it, so, uh... Yeah, man. Ooh, you can refill your arrows here. Yeah, I was hoping to see Hitman 3 maps, but that's all we got. But, okay, so what are the maps that are available for Hitman 1, though? They gotta be really confident in their graphics to actually, like, like give you, like, a Hitman with VR, because you're gonna see all their details, like, really close. Yo, chill. Uh, I wonder if they got any items in here. I definitely want to fight more, man. Headshot. I'm like too good with the bow and arrow, man. Oh, we got iron here. Is there anyone inside? There's a banner inside. I think they got dogs over there. It doesn't seem like there's anyone inside this house. Let me go inside. Agar says, yeah, but I mean, I wanted to see what were the new maps going to be. Okay, so they're designing a completely new map for the VR, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I I'm going to play it. You know, I probably got to get myself a VR headset, but I think it'd be probably a good idea for me to wait for a PlayStation 5 headset. Because I don't want to buy a PlayStation 4 headset and then like, you know, PlayStation 5 is going to have a better one. So... Damn. Okay, let's fight. Oh, that's a good parry. You saw that parry, right? Very good parry. Damn, look at that shit. Yo, right, chill. Regardless, I'm not sure if the major maps for VR are going to be the same for the base game. I think it's probably going to be different. Okay, they got a guy with a spear over there, but I wonder if he have any friends. Why is that horse highlighted like that? Oh, it's just a horse you can mount. Okay, I'm gonna look out for dogs, so I'm gonna try to shoot any dogs I see. I thought I heard dogs somewhere. I need to practice with the guy with the spear, but like, I can hear dogs, man. I don't like it when there are dogs. Oh, there is a dog here. Okay, there's a guy tending to his dog. Yeah, I can hear dogs, but I don't know where are they. Oh, they're inside. Okay, they're here. They're here. Okay, two dogs down. Poor dogs, right? Hey, what's up, Sinekeet? 
How you doing, man? Okay, I want to fight the spear guy one on one because I, I need to <laughs> practice against him. I might die, but you know. Okay. Let's fight this dude, man. Oh, that was a good parry. You saw that? That was a good parry. You saw that? I'm getting it back. I'm getting my parries back. I think it's like daybreak almost. This guy got items. Let me take his items. Oh, he had kunai. He was guarding this box. Collect. Five arrows. Very nice. I wonder if you can open these for the people, let them out. Damn. I think they're already dead. I'm gonna play my respects. Yo, I'm gonna avenge that dude, man. Yo, I'm with the parry, Zagar, but I, I freak out sometimes. I just started this game today, man. Like, as in just start to play. I was- I already spent like the last week playing it like two days i think so this is technically my third day but i'm still like a little rusty from the weekend oh we get predator hides tight yo let me pay my respects bro yo take them supplies there's like lots of supplies in here I feel so bad like robbing from the dead, right? But you gotta do what you gotta do. Damn. The voice acting is like another level, bro. Every time I touch a firefly, it seems my controller vibrates. I don't know why. Oh, shit. That's a guy with a shield. I don't see anyone else inside. Okay, but we, we gotta challenge this guy. Damn, he might call for backup. Come on, let's fight. Good parry! Oh shit. Good parry! Come on, come on, come on. Oh shit! Okay, I, I, I gotta- I gotta be better. Good parry! Dude. Nice. Woo. That was sick. You might start the game on lethal mode. You gotta start it on lethal mode, bro. Damn, that was sick. I didn't take take a single damage. Okay, there's Sashimono banners on the inside. Damn, they fucked up the people in here. Ooh. They got iron, they got Sashimono banner. Two out of- three out of three. Destroy the black powder cache. Actually, I think this is like part of a mission, but I haven't actually received the mission anywhere. I just stumbled on the place first. Let me see, there's still like supplies around here, so let's not destroy the, the black powder cache until we make sure everyone is dead. It's sad that there isn't a new game plus. Yo, there isn't, ah, damn. Why was that firefly inside? I don't know, man. Oh, wait a minute. Is that more ammo? Can I have that? Oh, my ammo is full. Ooh. That must be my arrow or something. 
Normally, when it's a mission, it doesn't let you inside, really. Inside where? Supplies. Maybe they fixed it in a patch. I don't know. Ooh, damn. Like, lots of items in here. What we got? 20 supplies. 7 supplies. I got lots of supplies, bro. I think supplies are like food and shit. Like, because like, that's the most important currency in a place like this. You know? Inside camps like these, really? I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not even on a mission. Technically, I'm more like I just stumbled into this place and they told me I gotta get all the Sashimono banners. Uh, I gotta like destroy this gunpowder cache thingy. Okay, how do I destroy this thing? Oh, wait. Hold R2 to ignite. It will probably explode, so... Oh, you gotta back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Damn! Boom! Is that gonna bring more people? Agar says- Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh shit. Do we have to face off? Is this a standoff? Or do we have to fight one for one? Oh, this is so sick! I think this might be a standoff, I'm not sure. Damn. That's tight. Damn. I haven't even pulled my sword out, bro. This is so Japanese, man. Oh, that's tight. Oh shit! No, 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 that's a raid attack. Oh, that's a red attack also! Oh shit! Okay, I don't know- I don't know if I can defeat him. Oh sh- Fucking asshole! Oh shit, I have no more health. Oh shit! I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay, damn. Okay, can I get the run back? It tells you that there's an overwhelming amount of enemies and you get automatically destroyed. Oh shit, wait, chill. Okay, shit, I can't see whenever there's a red attack. Oh shit, okay, chill. Damn. Damn. Okay, relax. Oh shit! I'm dead. That's death number 19. Okay, but I'm I'm beginning to see his attacks better, for sure. I'm beginning to see his attacks better. Okay, I, I couldn't see that. I couldn't see that. Oh, okay, I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Oh, that's... He, he mixes unblockables with... Oh! He also... He also tends to immediately attack once he uses the shield bash. So that's death number 20. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay. Nice! You saw that? You saw that? I knew that was coming! I knew that was coming! I knew that was coming! Holy shit! 
unlock the wind stance. You saw that? You saw that? I, I really understand when I should parry him. I really understood when I should have parried him. Man, I'm really learning the, the you know, the, the art of the sword. You recommend using the charge attack more? I know you can break his, his defense, but I don't want to brute force it. Thank you, big boss. I want to run back though, because I don't feel satisfied. I want to practice some more. I, I, the game doesn't allow me to practice more though. Technique point available. Ooh, we got two gold. Yo, can I go inside? I just want to like see if I, I if there's any loot I didn't take. Yo, which sword are you using? I'm using the Sakai sword. I'm using the basic one. Yo, don't ask me questions like that, Agar. I just started. By you asking me things like that, that's implying there are more swords. I don't want to know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm using like, okay, I'm, I'm, I can show you the, um, the cosmetic that I'm using, right? Uh, let me see. Gear, Sakai Steel. Uh, I'm using like a sword kit called Fujin Secret. It's more like a skin. Uh, I don't like this one. Yasha Amber. And this is the OG. But don't... Why do I need to charge attack when I can just like wait for his attack and parry it? I gotta work better on my perfect parries. Oh, that's what you mean? Yeah, so I'm using the Fujin Secret. I don't think it actually gives you better stats. I think it's all like, it's just there to like, you know, look better. Okay, let me read this. Conversations with the Khan 2. Tonight, while we sample a variety of fine sakes, Kotun Khan shares his insight into Tsushima's politics and history. We discuss in length the internal rivalries of the Nagaos, a tension between the Adachi and Kikuchi, and the reason for Shimura's victory over Yarikawa, as we, he as if he's lived among us for decades. Later, he confided his personal stake here. After the conquest of Goryeo, Kotun has been entrusted by Kublai Khan with subduing Japan. If he is successful, it will make his name and allow him to be to vie for the title of Great Khan himself. I did not dare to ask him if he meant to overthrow his cousin, Kublai, but I believe that was his insinuation. Oh, it's all cosmetic. All right, I got you, man. I got you. Yo, I want to fight that guy again, bro. I ain't satisfied. Okay, uh, let's see. Perfect parry recovers a small amount of health. Tearing fire. Perfect parry counter, counter, counter attacks at 20% chance to terrify nearby enemies. Attacks parried by blue glinting can be parried, can be done in any stance. Okay. Alright, so here's the thing. How about the stances though? Oh shit. Effective against spearmen. Yeah, I definitely want to learn the abilities against spearmen though. Oh my god, unleash a torrent of four rapid strikes. Hold triangle, then tap triangle, triangle, triangle. Hold triangle, then tap triangle. Better batter your foe with two piercing strikes. These are techniques, man. But like the thing that I really rely the most on is like deflection. Uh, so far this thing won't really help me that much, right? Because like perfect parries is 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 twenty percent to terrify nearby enemies. It almost is with like perfect parries. You you can't block before you parry, bro. You have to parry only like because a lot of times you're seeing the 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 video of the guy like he's doing the thing, but he's not blocking first. I usually tend to block before I parry, but I wonder if that hinders you from doing a perfect parry. Parry at the last possible second to perform a deadly attack. Let me see how that how he does it again. Damn. So so far I haven't done a lot of perfect parries. I got to I got to work on perfect parries, bro. So far I have two skill points I can spend on. 
Uh, the voting is great. Circle, circle to roll. Extinguishes, in, extinguishes burning. So if they set me on fire... Dodging slash. Oh, this is cool. Um... Okay, I got two points. I'm I'm really thinking about where, where what do I gotta do. Agarsis, I think you did a perfect parry before, so blocking doesn't stop you. Okay. I got you. Because usually like I do the Dark Souls technique, right? The Dark Souls technique is you always hold block. And at the last minute you release the block and then you parry. So that's that's the thing that I've been practicing. I think as long as you parry during the right moment, you still it's still considered a parry. I gotta learn other shit though, you know? Um, damn, this is so cool. Shoulder charge. Perfect dodge. Dodge at the last possible moment to perform a deadly counterattack. Wow. I mean, dodging is fucking cool, right? But like, parrying is like the real shit, you know? Um, perfect healing parry. So I think I like to get this one because I get to like heal a little bit. I want to max out the entire like a uh, deflection tree for sure. And gain moderate resolve by using a parry or a perfect parry. Hell yeah. So I'm really going all in on parries for sh for now. Man, this game is tight. Can I explore? Like, can I go look for uh, more items in here? Damn, this place really cleaned up. It's like, it looks like so different when the Mongols were occupying it because like, it seems like the people are like really trying to get their lives together. They even got rid of the prisons. Look at that. I don't think there's much for me to look at while I'm here because like they probably cleaned out all the items. But uh, I think I'll take one final look at this. Um... All right, I think I already been inside. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Damn. Damn, you better bow to me, lady. Damn, she's super polite and all. Okay, so I guess we're out of here. I need to like practice some more. I I'm really like thirsting for more com combat. So we gotta try to go to the undiscovered location. Uh, let me get my horse. Damn, this game is so sick. This is so cool, man. We literally liberated this place. Look at that. Oh, there's a merchant here, is there? Oh, there was a merchant... Uh, here. We should double back and try to find a merchant. Damn, this place is tight. Okay, I don't want to ride inside town, so I'm gonna just get off. Where on earth is the merchant? Maybe the merchant hasn't like set up shop yet, you know? I don't see no merchant, bro. Oh, there's a merchant here. Damn. For real, bro. Alright, sword kits. Okay, so basically these are just like, uh, you know, cosmetic upgrades. But, um, yeah, I already have the bow vanity upgrade. How about hats? I wonder if you can wear the headband and also like the hat at the same time. I don't think you can. Mata tanomuzo. Mata tanomuzo. Yo, the merchant sells your favorite sword skin. Which, which one's your favorite, Doagar? Let me see. 
I want to know what's your favorite, uh, so I can gauge your taste. Okay, which one is it? Is it the Prowling Tiger? The Sword Demon Eyes? All the way down. Sea Dragon Wing. Summon the Fierce Courage of a Dragon. Wow. It's quite an expensive upgrade though, because it's 15 flowers. I only have 27. I want to save my flowers for now. Is that the dragon one you like? Alright, let's get out of town. Look at that. Even my horse is still waiting originally at the same spot. It's cool. I might get it. You like Emperor's Tears? Dope. Yo, what color horses you got, guys? Like, I, I chose the black one. My, my horse name is Kage. For Shadow. Alright, we gotta go along here. Damn, there are like dead bodies all over the place. Oh, there's a flower there. Let's collect it. I'm a little wary though because of the woods. They're like bears sometimes. There was like one time a bear fucked me up. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I think they're like pigs. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Oh, that was close. Damn. Shooting your bow? What? Oh, shit. There's a fire over there. Okay. It's okay. Let me get that. Oh, there's a golden bird. We should follow it. Okay, okay. I'm gonna follow that golden bird. It's probably gonna take me somewhere really good. Okay, chill. It's taking me to that... To a dead guy. Oh my god. Okay, where is it leading me? There's a dead body here. Oh shit, what happened? Oh, the bird lead led me here. What's happening? You choose the white one and call it Sora, gotcha. Oh. Oh, shit. Damn, we gotta clear it. Did they shoot the golden bird? I don't see the golden bird anymore, man. Incident at Hiyoshi Pass. Okay, so they're shooting from down below, right? All I gotta do is shoot down back at them. Oh shit. Headshot! That's a kill. That's a kill. Oh fuck, this fucking asshole, man. Headshot! MLG, no scope! Headshot! Headshot! Who else one of this, some of this smoke, man? Headshot! Oh, I'm out of arrows. Yo, can I have some more arrows, bro? Uh oh, they might be aiming for me. Uh. Damn. Uh, okay, I don't have any more arrows. Oh shit. That really hurt. Can I assassinate this guy? 
I need more arrows, bro. Oh, shit. Damn, I have no more arrows. I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Okay, we're gonna climb. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was too close. Oh shit, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. That was my fault. I, I, I don't know how I can take them all out. Because I only have like 12 arrows, right? There are more than 12 of them. Uh, I got 8 more arrows. Okay. I think I can jump and assassinate them. Ooh, that's tight. Jin. Damn. Jin. Damn. Shit. That was a flashback, bro. Headshot. Headshot. Oh shit. Uh, you should focus on taking the guys across the water. Oh shit, that really hurts. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> That's death number 22. I didn't know you get flashbacks like that. I guess the best way I could go about it is to assassinate and also like shoot. Nice, Sue. Ooh, you can assassinate all the way to the bottom. Okay, we better get out of sight. Headshot. Headshot. Nice, Sue. Okay, I got five more arrows. Headshot. <sighs> nice suit. Nice suit. We got two more arrows. Oh. Okay, we can probably assassinate that guy over there. So I don't have to waste my arrows. Uh, you gotta climb back up the mountain. But lethal is brutal, bro. Like, no mistakes and shit. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can assassinate this dude from here, right? Boom! Nasu! Ooh. Oh, that's the last of them. Ooh, now we gotta save the boy. Okay. Damn! We got rid of all of them. That was tight. I'm the chosen one, man. Lethal plays ain't about that mistake life. Yo, you right, though. You right. I'm still learning, though. I'm still learning. I'm gonna probably play a fresh game with no mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it's just a man. He's not even a little boy, it's a man. Yo, I'm the best, bro. Speak with Banta's uncle, okay. That guy's named Banta. What a name. Banta, bro. Damn. 
Yo, you better respect your samurais, man. Bow down to me, bitch. Respect my authority. Easy. Incident at Hiyoshi Pass. Did my legend grow some more? I probably got an EXP point from this, right? Aw, oh, that wasn't enough to get EXP. Gotta respect Oats Drip, hell yeah. Charm of Unyielding is a defense charm. Ooh, cool. Uh, okay, how do I equip? Charm of Uku Ninushi. Slowly recover health while outside of combat. Cool. Yo, tight. Yo, where was that golden bird though? Remember we saw a golden bird? I think we gotta head back into the forest to find it. There was a golden bird somewhere along the way, right? And then it led me to that area over there. Ooh. I think maybe the golden bird is gone already. Maybe it kind of led me towards that guy that I have to save. Yeah, the golden bird is gone. But uh, it's daylight, so it's pretty uh, beautiful. So, did I discover that undiscovered location already? I did. So there's another undiscovered location here. But there's a thing over here. Oh, this is completed. Uh, this is also completed. So let's check out like what's across the bridge here. So I think we should cross over the bridge. For sure. Man, that was pretty challenging. I, I think I'm totally like almost out of arrows. I got like only two more arrows left. Let me pay my respects to these people. Yo. So. Oh, the people are all gone. Oh, shit. They're Mongol soldiers. Okay, can I fight them? Can I do a standoff? Damn. I might actually die. Ooh. Oh shit. They got a leader and shit. Oh, I'm out of... Okay, this guy can do unblockables and shit. Oh shit! Oh shit. Oh no! No, 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 no! Okay, why, are they, why is he running back? He's running away. Why is he running away? Why, why are they running away? Okay. Oh, no! Oh, that was unblockable! I failed to see it. I failed to see it. I failed to see it. There was like a red glint. Man, I fucked up. Ah, shit. I fucked up. Man, I wanted to defeat them so bad. But I'm still really bad at recognizing that like, like normal guys can also do red attacks. I've never successfully defeated an enemy patrol on that level yet. Uh, he ain't about that Mongol life so he ran. Yo, no, I'm just saying bro, I suck. I gotta improve. Oh shit, this could be a Mongol- it is a Mongol territory. I could challenge them to a standoff. I'm really out of arrows though. Kakatekui! Yo, chill. Oh, nice. Nice, Sue. <laughs> 
Okay. That wasn't... Those were imperfect parries. Oh, shit. That's a golden bird. Why is there a golden bird? Where, where the hell is the golden bird? Okay, I should follow it. It's flying on top of that thing. Okay, I'm just gonna follow where it leads me, but I gotta double back to this place to look for items. Holy shit. Survivor camp. Is this where he's leading me to? Whoa. Oh, can you practice? Oh, he landed. Oh, he landed here. A family's escape, Toku. I hope you found somehow find this. It was so chaotic when the Mongols came. I felt you grip my wrist and then nothing. I searched and searched, but you were gone. I believe you're still alive and that I'll see you again. Father is taking us to Kuta Farm to search for say passage of Tsushima. If you read this, hurry to us as fast as you can. Damn. Oh, it's a monk. ぜひ手に入れたいものだ Oh, is he gonna give me a charm? Yo, sick. Um... Oh, they got a merchant here. Yo, I'll see you later, Gar. Go Yurido. Go Yurido. Uh, okay, let me see. Sword kits. I think he sells the same shit again. Yeah, he still sells the same shit. Yep. Ooh, can I upgrade? Oh, I can upgrade my arrow capacity. I got enough predator hides. Just um, about right. Damn. Arrow capacity 16. Tight. Ammo and resources. Can I buy some arrows? Oh, my, my invent my arrows are full actually, so that's pretty cool. Alright, cool. I got maximum uh, quiver. Okay, so we gotta go back to that like Mongol camp I defeated. Because I think there might be something like really important inside. Okay, everyone's dead, right? Um... Oh, you got something here. Supplies, that's 12. That's a lot of supplies. We should go inside and see what's good. Just to check if anyone's inside, you know? You never know. Yo, look at the blood on the floor, man. Someone got fucking smoked over here, dude. Okay, can I climb upstairs? Let's see what they got up here. Nothing. Let me climb on the roof. <laughs> it's almost like nighttime. Oh, they got iron over there, I think. Or it could be steel. What is this? It's linen. Oh, they got something on the table. I think that's wood. What else they have over here? Oh, more linen. Tight. I haven't actually like upgraded my uh, clothing yet, you know? I think I should, but I got to find someone who can upgrade my stuff. Also, the monk earlier said I should follow the Tori gates to find a charm. I think I did, but there was probably another temple. Maybe he was talking about another different kind of temple. Ooh, supplies. Can I open the door? Okay, have I gone inside this tent? Yep, I think I did. I, I need to parry a little better, bro, because I think like I'm I am parrying, but I'm not parrying perfectly. I want to like start parrying like perfectly each time, but I that means I gotta be more patient. You know? Ooh, look at that, more stuff. Wood, bamboo.
Ooh, more bamboo. So, I think I checked the main house already. Oh, more supplies. There's a pagoda over there. Damn, so many dead people. Let me pay my respects. Damn, I feel bad, bro. Um... Earlier that man said about something about pagoda, like, uh, Tori gates and shit. Yo, let me get that bamboo. Wow. This is really beautiful, look at that. Sunset, man. I know it looks a little dark on your screen, but... Is that, is that a bridge? I think that's probably where I came from. So, survivor camp and there is an undiscovered location. I should get my horse. Yo, chill. Damn. Okay, this direction. Uh, alright, let's see. So I guess the wind is still like blowing that direction. You should check it out. Oh, there's a fox. Oh, I think he's going to lead me towards a gate. A fox then. We should follow him. He's so cute. He's a good boy. Alright, you should follow him. Damn. Damn, he's like running really fast. I don't know if I have the stamina to keep up with him, man. Yo, you see all those ships in the distance? It's pretty cool. Whoa. Oh, is that it? He's so cute. Damn. Alright, we should pay our respects. He's so cute, look at him. Can I pet him? Inari Shrine Honored. Oh, I can pet him. Please let me pet him. He's a really good boy. He's so good. He's a good boy. Oh, he's so good, man. I wish I could give him some food, you know? Yo, what a good fox. Man. Look at the beach, bro. It's so, like, stunning. Oh, there's a house over there. That looks kind of familiar. Okay, there is an undiscovered location over here. I think I'm getting really close to the tail of Lady Masako. If I do her thing, I will get a Samurai Clan armor, but that's a little too quick. I think we should discover another undiscovered location. You know, let's climb up this thing. Damn. I would love to fight some more. I, I need to train against like, like, like a whole patrol, you know? Minus the archers, of course, because I don't like archers at all. Um... I guess I base I wouldn't even mind like basic enemies to practice. I wish there's like a dojo somewhere where you can like have non-stop practice with like whoever, you know? Ooh, that looks like something. I think that's my horse, right? I like the fact that your horse is actually at the same location where you left him. A lot of times when you play games, like, the horse, like, disappears. Ooh, there's a flower over there. Let's take it. Ooh, this is the golden forest. Tight. Okay, what is that? I see something that looks a little bit like a fox. But I don't think it's a fox. What's that? It's a rock. Oh, it's a rock. 
Man, there's a corpse over here. Oh, this is sad, bro. Someone got shot down. Damn, that's sad. Oh, there's a flower here. Alright, the daylight is like uh waning. I'm really not a fan of like a uh, nighttime. I wouldn't actually mind if the, the entire game took place in the day, but that wouldn't like really be realistic. Oh shit. Okay, so I think that's the direction of the place I already cleared. You should check the one on the left side. Damn. The music is like really special. Oh, this is like a small creek. It feels like something like straight out of like Princess Mononoke, you know? Like the beauty and like the forest and like everything. I know it's a little dark for you guys as it is for me, but... Oh. It's a very like a uh, bright evening night sky. Oh, I see a fox over there. I think it's another shrine. Oh, we should- Oh, what the fuck? There are people fighting in the distance. Oh, the bear, the bear fucked him up. Mm. Headshot! Okay, we got the bear. I think there's also a Mongol patrol up ahead. I'm going towards the bear because I want to get the uh, the hides, right? But we should probably follow the... Uh, oh my god, look at this. This is so gruesome. We should follow the fox. Because the fox could lead us to the Inari shrine. Okay, I'm going to go on foot. Because I don't want to tra accidentally trample the, ho the, the fox. That'd be really fucked up. You know? I wonder if players have actually killed the fox. And then, you know, because the fox died, they can't go to the shrine. So, you know, early on in the game, I was kind of like questioning if I should actually shoot the fox before I discovered that the fox could lead me to a good place. Ooh. Honor the, sh the shrine. Hopefully I can, I can attack the Mongols after this. Okay, where's the fox? The fox is gone. Apparently, I can stand off with somebody here. I think that's a camp. Jinjoni Shobu! Jinjoni Shobu! Okay. Okay. Okay, I want a perfect parry. Oh shit. I want to practice. That's not a perfect parry actually. Oh, that's a perfect parry. I can't take any more a lot of hits. It seems like he's very confident if you just keep blocking. Okay, that's not a perfect parry. See, that's not a perfect parry.
I think like perfect parry means like you're so close to like getting hit. Like that. Ooh. Perfect parry is like so difficult to pull off actually. I was kind of hoping that like a perfect parry would just be a normal parry but like the discrepancy between a normal parry and a perfect parry is like so huge man. Holy shit. Oh, they got items here. Let me take that. Oh, they were like sitting over a chest. 26 supplies. That's a lot. Um. Okay, so I'm on my way to the Golden Temple, right? Because this is a sanctuary of where people hide from the Mongols. So I haven't checked it out yet. But I also like would love to... I would really love to actually, like, you know, learn how to, like, parry perfectly. Because, like, every time I think I'm really close to parrying perfectly, I am, I'm not. Ooh, you got a key item. That's a, that's a ladder. Okay, so I'm going to, like, really, like, Google about this. How to perfect parry Ghost of Tsushima. Alright, you guys don't mind me watching a little guide. Um, perfect parry. Hey everyone, this is Angel from Avix Gaming with a brand new video for Ghost of Tsushima. If this is useful, don't forget to leave a like or check the playlist right here for more videos of the game. Damn! In this video, I am going to show you the basics for doing perfect parries in Ghost of Tsushima and how to do it against every single basic enemy unit in the early game. Every basic single enemy. I have to be honest, dodging is a lot more efficient in combat in this game, but there is just a really awesome feeling every time you nail the perfect timing and watching the slow-mo parry Damn. in action is fabulous. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. There are two ways to do perfect parries in Ghost of Tsushima. The hard way and the hardest way. The hard way is using a special charm and to get this you're oh. going to make your way to the Spring Falls Shrine in the Komodo region and So there is like a, a, a charm you can get that helps you do perfect parries better. But I think like since you know that guy kind of spoiled like there's a charm to help you do it better. I think we gotta learn how to do it our own. So what I'll do is like I'll I guess I'll just like fight more. You know, I don't want to rely on just like guides and shit because like I can parry, right? But it's more like perfect parry is a whole different ball game, bro. Okay, where do I gotta go? Man, nighttime is like so foreboding for some reason. I don't know why. I don't really like it. I see like less well at night. Right? I think you guys also see like less details and shit. Especially if you're watching- Oh, there's a golden bird. They sound like so like familiar, the golden birds. Okay, is he leading me to a good place? I could use a hot spring, bro. Like a secret hot spring. Okay, where are you taking me, little buddy? Okay, he's flying along here. Damn, I think I gotta hoof it on foot. Oh shit, we gotta climb that thing. The rock face is like so slippery. I don't really see a way I can get up there. Okay, I can still hear it, but... Okay, um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whenever they play that sound effect, I get like very wary. I don't really, I haven't really recognized what that sound effect really is. Oh, it seems like it's leading me here. Oh, it's a secret hot spring. Look at that. Aw, oh, thank you, birdie. What a good bird, man. Alright, let me rest. This is crazy, bro. I love this game so much. See them butt cheeks clap. Okay, what am I gonna focus on? Reflex on... 
My uncle. Down. Ooh, we got a little maximum health increase. I like that. Damn. Must be cold as hell out here, you know? Oh shit, I think there's a camp out here somewhere. I think maybe that's the golden temple that the one I was like like going to, but I don't know if this place is compromised by Mongols. Okay, is there an easy way to go down? Jin is health conscious, yo, exactly. Let me see how much my health really go up by dope. Uh, how do I check my health? I guess my health doesn't really pop up until I pull out the sword, yeah. Okay, my health is definitely significantly larger than when it first started out. You bet he drinks his tea and takes his ginseng daily, maybe. Oh, I mean like, ginseng is like expensive and like really hard to get. Especially like on an island like Tsushima, I don't know if rations are actually like plentiful. Okay, we are at the Golden Temple, but I don't know if this place is... It seems like normal people are here. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, cool. Damn. Damn, Golden Temple looks really sick. Sick. Oh no, these are all dead bodies. Damn. Let me take that bamboo. Do you guys bow down to corpses? Oh, it seems like that lady over there is special. You see, like, she got an icon that looks like a little bit like a needle. Oh, she works on armor. She's an armorer. Ooh, she can repair. Oh, can she repair my... Ah, she, I thought she could repair my old armor. Damn, okay. Yo, we can upgrade my traveler's attire. You do pay respects to the fallen. You got to, man. You got to. So I can upgrade my outfit to a better one. So I get the traveler's attire too. Um, It's pretty cool. But it's a lot of supplies, bro. It's like literally half my supplies. Um, It's one fourth of all the linen I got. I gotta ask your opinion, bro, dude. Since you like probably played quite ahead from me, is it a good idea to upgrade the traveler's attire, or should I save the materials for better like outfits? I'd like to get like everything though, like so. I guess like I like to get like a maximized traveler's attire, a maximized whatever. Yeah, the old one is like really sad. Sad. Look at this. This one looks like it's really fucked up. This one looks more respectable. Brutus says I've been upgrading maybe one, but so far I've been holding out in case. Yo, you right, man. Man, look at that. It looks way better once you upgrade it to level 3 and level 4. Yo, you need like better materials, man. But the thing that is consistent with all the upgrades for sure is like... um, You need like a lot of supplies. I think I'll hold out for now. Because if I upgrade my traveler's attire, that's half my, my supplies, man. Ooh, we got supplies here. I feel bad stealing people's supplies, bro, but they understand, right? Whoa, is that an is that a swordsmith? Holy shit! I never see that icon before. Damn. I, I 
人と同じくそれぞれ違うのですよ酒井様素材をお持ちくだされば喜んでその宝刀を引き上げましょう Actually, I, I, I wonder if like upgrades can improve your parry. But then I, I feel kind of bad. Yo, know, look at that. Your supplies are also very important for your katana upgrades. So, katana upgrade is always above everything else. Kill enemies faster. Yo, we don't have enough steel. We need like one more steel. I think the type, the Tanto is more like assassinations. So. Nah. I'll, I'll not upgrade this as much yet. Ooh, that guy got supplies we also can take. Yo, we got like. We got a, a speech bubble over that guy. Let's talk to that guy, man. It's a monk. Oh, wait, this guy wants to talk to me first. Is he gonna give me a present? ナガオケの下男のゴンジロウと言ったな。ナガオ殿のことは無念であった。俺のようなもののことを覚えててくださったんですね。あなたのおかげで大勢が助かってます。いくさはまだ始まったばかりだぞ。だから俺もお手伝
また頼むぞ Um, yo, what is this? Oh, linen. Let me have that. Ooh, got one. Oh, I feel bad, man. I'm taking supplies from a temple. Oh, can I pay my respects? Oh, this is a Buddhist temple. Yo, I'm gonna pay respects to everyone. Everyone knows me by name. Damn, I'm helping everyone, bro. Oh, what is that? Is that linen? Cool. What else we got? Supplies. I would probably say upgrade according to your supplies. Yo, I prioritize my sword first. Before I knew that you could upgrade your sword. Like, I thought like your, your armor was the only thing you could upgrade, but... Okay, let's just like walk around. Damn. Yo, they even got a cow in here, man. Can I pet the cow? Oh, I can't pet the cow. Someone, someone says you just take Kudasai. Why? Damn, okay, there's another supply over there. Man. I think there's another upgrade here because like there I, I have the mask. Let me see if I can oh this is the swordsmith, right? Okay, I need steel in order to get the next upgrade. I guess I wanna go inside this house to see what's good. Oh there there's linen. It's very nice that you can like they put like items all over the map, but they you know they only glow when you go near them. I like that. So it, there is a potential that you could miss out the item if you're not careful. Damn, I'm super polite and shit. Can I ring the bell? <laughs> that would that would be not good though, because like the bell is like maybe for like important shit. All right, let me take a look at this, uh, like, uh, armor again, because apparently we can... Uh, oh, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend it yet. You know, it doesn't really say, like, it, it gives you more armor either, man. Because, like, it says, like, it gives you more benefits, like, you can detect, like, like, artifacts better and stuff, but... It doesn't say if it protects you, like, you know, more. Ooh. We got a Buddha statue. Okay, sorry Buddha, I need to take your supplies, but I'm gonna pay my respects. Whoa, look at all those like fireflies. Yo, this is so beautiful, man. It would look amazing at night, but it's it already looks like so sick. All right, chill. Oh, this is just like steps to go up here. Hmm. Maybe I haven't discovered everything in s within the Golden Temple area. Maybe there's more to look at. Hmm. <laughs> you know, like, somewhere around here looks like a good spot to write a haiku, you know what I mean? Ooh, we got supplies on the rocks. Why do they have supplies here? Supplies are so important, bro. I thought, like, supplies are legitimately, like, throwaway items because, like, yo, I thought they gave you, like, a lot of it. But, like, you, you need, like, every single supply you find, bro, for, like, upgrades. Oh, there's another gift thing over here. Oh wait, I already taken the gift thing. Yeah, the gift altar is right now empty. It's cool. Alright, so I think I'd like to plan my next like area I like to go to. Um Okay, so a place to call home. The the people of Ariake are losing their homes to the Mongols. I need to look into this. So I want to try to help them like liberate this area for sure.
And also, it's a great opportunity to also practice. I need to practice fighting, bro. Honestly. Damn. So pretty. Yeah, man. We're gonna liberate that area. I would, I guess you would say, like, you know, this, this aspect of the game is kind of like Far Cry. But it's very, like, choice-based. In Far Cry, you have no option except to liberate an area before you could proceed. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Oh, man, this is messed up. This is like an ominous warning, man, like for people like coming around this area. Damn, it's so pretty. Okay, I gotta ascend down this mountain. Ah, look at that. There's a estate down there. I think that area is like occupied by Mongols. So I think we should try to be more sneaky about this because like I don't like it with archers are like about. Is that the place? I think I'm looking at something completely different. This isn't the place. This is like a completely different village. From far away, it looks like it's been abandoned. It's almost like they fucked up this entire place and they were like, nah, yeah, we good. Doesn't seem to be anyone here. Man, looks like Scott, there's some blood on the rocks. Oh my god, this is like a ghost town. Okay, I don't, I don't detect anyone in here. Oh, there's linen. I bet there's a lot of supplies I can take. Oh, linen, linen. There's a lot of linen here. Can I take that flower? Thank you, supplies. Oh, there are those bandits? It's hard to tell. It could be bandits. Oh, you can talk to that person. Letter. It seems like people are still li living here. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this dude, man. Whoa. A flock of birds. Oh, there's a place for haiku. I think she's telling me like a good place to write a haiku. Oh, there's bandits here. Like, I mean, there are leaves all over the place, but it's okay. Damn. I guess, like, back in the day, people are not so quick to repair their windows and stuff because it takes a lot of work. But the real question is, like, if it, if it gets broken so easily, why is it made out of paper and shit? Damn. He's, he's asking me to protect them. Of course I will. I'm the man of the people. And I always give the people what they want. Got to give the people. 
give the people what they want. I'm free this place from those bitch ass Mongolians. Yo, chill. What is this? Wood? I'll take that. It's kind of like more look. I'm like looking for steel. It feels like steel is probably more of a supply you would find in like a Mongol camp. You know, linen is more commonly found in like villages and shit. It kind of makes sense. Got to give the people. Give the people what they want. Alright, so I think I'm probably done exploring this whole place. Just want to make sure I don't miss out on any little items here and there. Damn, they even got a well. That's cool. By the way, guys, if you enjoy my content, um, you'd like to see more in the future, uh, do consider hitting that follow button. I would really appreciate that. Can we go upstairs? Do they got it upstairs? They might have more shit upstairs. Oh, look at that. There's a ladder. I almost missed that one out. I just knew that they have a second floor, but... Oh, they got some supplies here. Cool. 16 supplies. Ooh, they got more supplies here. Don't mind me if I do. I almost feel like there isn't really a point to upgrade this outfit because, like... Like, since like, supplies are so limited... That ain't a good idea. Damn. I wonder if they got a secret attic. It looks like there's like one more floor above, but I can't really tell. Can you climb from here? Oh, I thought you can climb from here. Hey, what's up, Jema? Just dropping in to say good night. Good night, man. Thank you for dropping by. I think they got like another floor, but like you probably gotta find it. There's like another floor above here. Oh, look at that. There is another floor, as I predicted. And, uh, but how do I access the above floor? Is there something I can climb? Okay, maybe I can climb this. Okay. Maybe they don't really have anything up here. Yeah, they don't look like they got items up here because like... Yeah, even if I made it up there somehow, you know, it's probably not such a good idea. Okay, so we are going to the Mongol camp to help them liberate that place. Oh shit, something happened down the road from here. I think those are bandits. Can I challenge them to a standoff? Damn. Alright, focus. Focus. Okay, get rid of the guy with the bow. Alright, we got one more guy. That's not a perfect parry. That's a normal parry. What, what does it take to have a perfect parry, bro? See, I'm parrying like, like, okay, but that's not a perfect, that's a normal parry. Okay, I can't die. See, that's a normal parry. That's not a perfect parry. That's a parry. Oh. 
See? Normal parry. That's a perfect parry. Okay, that's a perfect parry. Okay, that's a perfect parry. So it's as if he's like almost gonna hit you. See, it, it, you have to be so close in order to like... Relax, relax, relax. See, that's not perfect. The window for perfect parries is like very small. See, I, I get, I'm trying to like thread the needle and get it smaller and smaller, but it's like really hard. It's, it's like, wait, it's easier to parry when you're not holding the block button. See, that's a parry, but that's not a perfect parry. See, that's a parry. This is a block. That's not a perfect parry. This is a perfect parry. But it, it, it's almost like he has to almost hit you. See, this is just a normal parry. That's a perfect parry. Okay, I'm gonna train with this guy a little more. Oh, my, my HUD is set at normal. Perfect parry. That's a perfect parry. One, two... Perfect. That's a normal parry. Perfect parry. One, two, three. Perfect parry. Oh, okay, okay. Then the, the window for perfect parries is so small. See? That's a block. Perfect parry. Oh, he did, he sometimes like switches attacks like really quick. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. Normal parry. Perfect parry. Normal parry. Normal parry. Perfect parry. I, I think I'm getting more consistent. Normal parry. Perfect parry. Alright. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So... Oh, there's a yellow bird. Okay, we gotta follow it. I'm getting there, but it that is just only that guy, right? Like, I only know how to perfectly parry, like, a normal Japanese bandit. Like, it's a different story when it's, like, a Mongol with a shield or a Mongol with a spear. Right? But it's, like, really threading the needle. Oh, shit. Oh, is he leading me towards this guy? Wait, hold up. You suffer against double sword Mongolians. Yo, we all do, man. Yo, I'm gonna help them out. But where's the where's the bird? Oh shit! A place to call home. Mongolians. Man, this is this is like a really deep game. Yo, where's that bird? Man, I, I now I lost the bird. It's okay. I think maybe the bird was trying to lead me to the home. 
Okay, we could have rescued the family, but... Okay, there's a guy. Is that is that an archer? That's an archer. Okay, let's show Wu first. Alright, relax, relax, relax. Got this. Okay, we got it. Take care of one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit! Okay, we gotta take care of the archer. Where, where's the, where's the archer? Okay, we got the archer. Oh, shit! Okay, okay. Back up, back up, back up. I'm getting surrounded. Okay, back up, back up. Okay, that was a parry. That was a normal parry. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Oh! Oh! I'm dead. I'm dead. Yo, enjoy your alert, bro, dude. Yeah, I'm dead. That was death number 24. Okay, my mistake was I dodged towards the back. I should have dodged towards the side because like he was charging in. So that was my mistake. Man. I chill. Okay, where's the archers? Where's the archers? Oh shit! Oh my god. Okay, we gotta get rid of the archer. Oh shit. Oh! oh! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh shit. That was a perfect parry, that was a perfect parry. Oh shit! Oh my bad, that was my bad. That was my fault. It was my fault because I got greedy. I got greedy. I, I should have like dodged twice. Not once. I should have dodged twice, not once. Okay, let's get the run back. Okay, focus. Okay, we got that boy. Where's the archer? Where's the archer? Okay, we got the archer. Now I can focus on the rest. Okay, focus on the big boy. Oh, oh shit! Oh, Alright, relax. Okay, I wanted to perfect parry. Perfect parry! Skill. Oh shit! Alright, relax, relax. Oh, oh, oh! There's another archer! There's another archer! Oh! Come on! Okay, I can parry all his all his attacks. Nice. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. I, I'm almost dead. But I'm pretty happy because like during the combat sequence, I managed to pull out like one or two perfect parries. Oh man, I think they're probably dead. Okay. Uh, while we are at it, we should probably look for supplies from the guys we just killed. They probably dropped some like pretty decent supplies, right? I'm still panicking a little too much whenever I fight like the bad guys, right? I think I should like try to be more calm. The, the thing that is stopping me from being calm is like the archers. Always. Yeah, my character is kind of tired because I'm running all over the place. Uh, are they hiding here? Laundry is still damp. The attack was sudden. Damn, the camera is like really zoomed in. Like I'm badass as fuck. Look at my mask. Oh, there's another sign over there. Oh, there's a blood stain. Damn. Someone was killed here. Bodies were dragged, thrown in the water. Oh my god. That is sad. Hey, Jima, if you have a lot to talk about next time. Yo, I'll see you later, bro. A child's toy. His family didn't... Yeah, this is sad. Oh, he's here. Damn, we gotta tell him his family dead, bro. But I can't even find his family's body, you know? Shit. Yo, your family dead. Man. I tried to save them. I don't. E I didn't even see them while they were here. I wonder if like, if you attack them like quietly, they don't kill them. Damn. That's fucked up. A place to call home. Damn, I wonder if you could have done it different. Your legend grows. The people's hope. Maximum health increase. Nice. Back powder bomb. L2, R2 to throw explosives that damage and stagger nearby enemies. I'm not really like... Choose a new ghost weapon. I gotta choose. Wind chime. Ooh. Sticky bomb. Smoke bomb. Hmm. I guess it'd be kind of cool. Smoke bomb, bro. Let me get that wind chime for like the stealth. Nice. For my gear, apparently I can... Oh, charm of well-being. Receive an additional 7.5 health when healing. Alright, cool. Dude, this is cool. Tight. Can I rearrange my stuff? I want to rearrange my stuff. Okay. Hey, what's up, Perito? Welcome back to the stream, bro. Um, I'm learning from the game. As you guys can see, I'm, I died like 25 times. Uh, did I die from like, did I, is the score accurate guys?
I hope the score is accurate. Because if I died at any point and I didn't increase the score, let me know. I think that should be accurate. 25. Charm of well-being. Got that. Range wa weapon swapping. Hold L2 and use the touchpad to switch between your ranged weapons. Okay. Oh, wind chime. Arrow. Okay. Alright, let me look around for some supplies though. Man, it's like brutal out here. Oh, you can collect wind chimes from like people's houses and shit. It's cool. Hey, what's up basketball Giles? What's up, man? What's up fam? Welcome back to the chat, bro. It's been a while since I've seen you. How you doing, sir? Yo. Alright, real quick. There is an undiscovered location over here, but that's the Komatsu Forge. The other side of honor. Someone mentioned seeing a samurai alive in Kashine. Uh, should I explore that? Oh, there's an undiscovered location behind us. We should go take a look at that. I feel sorry for this dude. I wonder if it could have been different. You're good. How about you? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. All things considered, I'm pretty good. You know, I had a really busy weekend. You know, I couldn't really rest on Sunday because like I was preparing my art for my, you know, my YouTube thumbnails. Um, so I do have to admit I'm a little bit fatigued, but so far this game is putting me in a good mood. Whoa. What is that? I think that's a deer. But uh, yo, have you tried this game though, basketball? I really think you should try it if you're really into samurai shit. Whoa. People got burnt alive, bro. Oh, they got some pigs. Okay, we should like hunt the pigs because the pigs got like predator hides. Headshot. Headshot. Ah, that one was too far away. Is it free? Does this game look like it's a free game? Why do you want to only play games if they're free? You're super sore from work. What happened? Oh, you were lifting a lot of stuff? Yo, take it easy, Burrito. If you can't mod tonight, you want to like go rest, I think you should go rest. I'll be back here tomorrow though, so... Damn, what is that thing? Is that like an egg? Oh no, it's a tree stump. It's a bee hive tree stump. Man, it's almost like nighttime. I wonder if there's a way you can change the, the time of day. Like, can you like sit and rest somewhere? Cause a lot of games are free nowadays, but not a lot of free games are good though, because like it's always like laced with a lot of like, um, you know, DLC. Like in order for you to be more powerful, you gotta like buy something, you know, or it's like a cosmetic kind of game. I'm not really into like free to play games, bro. Free to play games are mainly like multiplayer shit. This is like more like a single player kind of game. You chill here tonight. I'm just not used to lifting case of booze. Yo, you can take it easy, uh, Burrito. Just enjoy the stream as a viewer. You don't have to mod. You know, I got your back, man. Oh, they got they got pigs over there. I'm gonna shoot one. I got like seven more arrows actually. Headshot. Oh. Ah, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the other one run away because I don't want to like... Can I still shoot it? Woo! MLG, baby! No scope! Okay, let me get that predator hide. There seems to be a camp across the water. I really need to practice more parries. So, my idea of practicing is I would try to keep one guy alive and continuously train against him. It seems like something's happening over there. Let me check the map. I think it's an undiscovered location. 
Hey, take your time, Giles. Oh, it looks like a Mongolian camp. I only have four more arrows, so I gotta, like... If I'm sneaking through here, I gotta be careful. It's getting dark. Old trading post, Mongol territory. Oh, shit. That's a big fire. Doesn't look like there's anyone up front, but... Also, doesn't look like there's anyone on the watchtowers. That's kind of weird. Why wouldn't there any be anyone on the watchtower? Kill enemies with the halfbow. Yo, hell yeah. Uh, I guess we can get a better vantage point if we climb up here. Oh shit, dude is beating up on someone. I can't seem to climb the gate. We gotta- Oh, we can squeeze through. Yo, get yourself a beer, bro. Damn, he beating up on that dude, man. Okay, if I want to shoot him through here... Headshot! Bro, they don't know it's me. Okay, we get the roofs, get the roofs. Yeah, they're... They're feeling hype, they're feeling hype. I gotta kill like three guys with the bow and arrow. Yo, they're hype, bro. I could challenge the remaining enemies, but I want to kill like two with like the bow and arrow to get the challenge complete. Headshot! Bro, he doesn't know, man. I can kill one more with the bow and arrow. Yo, we gotta kill the other guy with the bow and arrow. Um. We can challenge the remaining enemy. Okay, we're gonna fight. Okay, let's fight the leader. Iron. Okay, we gotta fight the leader in an open space. Yo, chill. Oh. 
Nice! We killed the leader. Woo! I, I wish I could get a perfect parry, but I, I kind of like go for any parries that I can get. Damn, that was sick. Our, our legend increased. This was a perfect like stealth thing and I get the bonus for killing like at least three guys with bow and arrows. Yo, let me take all this stuff. Iron supplies. Do they have an artifact? That was sick. Clankatron, what's up, man? Hello, Oats Curry. I would like to apologize. Uh, for what? You want to be more specific? And uh, I kind of remember your name, Clankatron, but um, I think I might have banned like maybe Clankatron 1 or Clankatron 2. So, uh, yo, let's hear it, man. Like, well, what is it you want to apologize for? You gotta be specific. I'm I'm a forgiving person, but you gotta be genuine. You gotta be real. I tend to be really nice if you are like if, if you give me a chance to be nice to you. Ooh, linen. That was sick, right? I was so worried that that leader was going to do like an unblockable move. That so I was really like wary when he was about to do like something red, you know. Oh, three arrows. We got iron. Um, I'm actually, I don't really use my kunais that much. Yo. Alright, can I go inside? I think there might be more stuff inside. Okay, everyone bounce, bro. We got some iron here. Hmm, supplies, supplies, very nice. Um... Okay, I think I cleaned out this house. We should go to the main house. But basically, we liberated this area. Old trading post complete. There's something across the water here. I think it's a lake. It's called Lake Izuhara. Damn, they've got swords in here and shit. This looks like like a kind of like a dojo a little bit. Not really. Ooh, they got wind chimes. Um Do they have a second floor upstairs? Damn. Letter, thank you. Letter be tight. I don't know. It seems like this house doesn't really have a second floor, I think. I think this is it. Yeah, I don't think they got a second floor, but they got a forge at the back. Ooh, iron. I'll take that. I wonder if it's possible for me to now level up my sword. So I can upgrade my kunai, but I gotta go back to upgrade it. I don't really use my kunai that much anyways, you know? Um, let's see, for my samurai weapon... Yeah, I need steel. Uh, Clankertron says a few months back I self-promoted and since then I learned that self-promotion is annoying. I was new to Twitch and didn't understand that stuff like that was bad and annoying. If you unban me on my main account, that would be great, but you do have, you do not have to. Yo, since you put it like so eloquently like that, you know, I would, I will unban your main account, but can you type out what's your main account? And, uh, thank you for apologizing, man. You know, it's not, it's not like I'm not perfect either. Like I make a lot of mistakes. So. Uh, Clankertron 4. Is that like one word or is that like two words? Okay, I think it's like one word, right? So I'm gonna unban Clankertron 4. Let me see what you actually type, bro. Oh, it's two words. Really? Um. Wait, hold up. I can actually see what you typed back in the day, just to double confirm what you're saying. Uh, 
Clankatron four. I I I think you mean is there like an underscore in between Clankatron and number four? Okay, you gotta tell me the correct username because I can't find that username at all. You gotta clarify, like let me know what's your exact username. Because you're just typing Clankatron space four and I can't find that name. Uh let's see. Ooh, the main door is shut. I think I might have taken all the items in here, but like I'm gonna just go around just to double check. Can I restock on my arrows? Okay, I'm full. Yeah man, uh, uh, regarding like self-promotion, it's it's more like like uh I, I wouldn't do that in someone's stream, you know what I'm saying? Because like for example, right, like if you have a restaurant, imagine someone from like another restaurant coming inside your establishment and they're like Hey guys, I'm selling fried chicken down the road from here. You guys might want to go check that out. Like, that isn't cool, right? So like, why would you do that on a stream? You know what I'm saying? I would say there are places that, you know, self-promotion are cool. Like, if you know, maybe there's like a, a forum, you know, there's a Twitch forum somewhere where people can openly uh, advertise their, you know, their, their channel and stuff. But also, here's the thing. The reason why you want to advertise your stuff is because you want people to come to your chat. Oh shit. Hold up guys. This might be a delivery. I, I gotta I've gotta be back. And we're back. So uh I that was my delivery guy. No biggie. Anyway, what I was this what was I saying? I was talking about self-promotion, right? Like self-promotion is there because you, you wanna like introduce people to your stream or your channel. And I understand that. Like, that's why it's, like, so tempting to go to someone else's stream and do that. But in the first place, you may get some people to come over your channel. That's for sure. You might get one or two people to pop by and check out your shit, right? But what if your shit isn't that good? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what if they don't like the way you stream? Or you're not very entertaining, things like that. Like, what do you do then? You know? So I think the moral of the story at the end of the day is like you got to like really improve on your content creation, whether it is like your YouTube channel or whether you're a Twitch channel, you got to get better at like what you do, right? And once you start getting better at what you do, you know, people are going to find you, right? Because someone is going to click on your stream and someone is going to like your shit. It's without question because they can see that you're putting in the effort and they, they like your energy, they like your personality, they like your commentary, all that, right? So at the end of the day, you know, like when people think like, yo, I got to promote myself all the time, right? They think that's the shortcut to actually making it on whatever, you know, a uh, platform, right? They want to make it on YouTube. They want to make it on Twitch. Clankatron says you actually did start streaming and it's uh very really fun. Exactly. You gotta focus on that, right? So once you really focus on like having fun, you know, you don't focus whether people are there or not, that's when you can really truly improve. And um, you know, you can find your fan base. So Clankatron, I would love to unban your account, but you gotta tell me the right name for it because I can't seem to find it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm try to find it again. Um, yeah, the user I'm trying to unban doesn't exist. Yeah, I think you gotta write the right name. Yeah, see, you forgot the underscore, so I, I can't predict your mind, man. Alright, let me double check your account real quick. Let me just see what you really typed the last time because I can definitely search for it. Okay, uh... Okay, you, you typed out like four messages. <laughs> Do you want to know what you said the last time? Uh, okay, I'm gonna unban you first. But do you want to know what you said the last time? <laughs> I can tell you if you like. I don't want to put you on the spot, man, because, like, you know. I can tell you exactly what you said the last time. Alright, so the last time you said 
give a sub to my channel, it's the same as my username. <laughs> Yo. It's, it's, it's like you're not even trying to get people to follow you. You want people to drop $5 on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, at least if you typed out like, hey, give my channel a follow, I would have to okay, that makes more sense, right? I would have still banned you, but that would still have made sense. You know, we all make mistakes, right? And thank you for apologizing, because like, um, it actually shows that you are a good person. That means you realize that it was not a smart thing to do. And um, I would say the number one thing you can get from streamers in general is not so much like trying to steal their, their viewers, right? Because like, you know, you can probably try to steal people's viewers if you're really entertaining and, you know, people watch your shit and they'll be like, oh my God, this guy is actually pretty fucking funny. You know, he's pretty fucking cool. You know, you can probably do that. But I think like when you're going to another streamer's channel, try to be friends with them because you never know that you might need them in the future, you know, because we're, we are all in this together. And, you know, I, I didn't get up to this level alone. I definitely learned a lot from like uh, so many streamers. And sometimes when you become friends with street other streamers, it's also like asking the right question. Like, hey, um, what is it that you do that has helped your channel improve a lot, right? Or like, you know, try to find out like how they get there in the first place. You know? Oh, you're talking about your YouTube channel. All right, then it's, you know. Ooh, there's a bird. He wants me to follow him across the water, but like, really? Can I use the boat? I guess I can swim across if he really wants me to follow him. I'm gonna follow this bird, cause he's a special bird. Yeah, so you know, like if you're like in content creation, the number one thing you should focus on no matter what is your content. So if you're creating a YouTube channel or you are uh, streaming, just focus on creating good shit. Right? Like, uh, you know, like people focus too much on marketing. You, I mean, you get, you get like people to come to your channel and then what? Right? You still have to improve. <gasps> Whoa, we found a spot to compose haiku. Okay, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Yo, I thought this was going to be a secret, like a uh, hot spring or some shit, but. Reflect on refuge, refuge, refuge. Okay, refuge. If I'm focusing on refuge, I focus on the middle. Calm waters, calm mind. Focus on refuge. I'm gonna focus on that light. Darkness fades in brilliant light. There's only a tree here. Sturdy do we stand even unbending. We rise together. Damn, I'm gonna write that haiku real quick, no, man. Calm waters. Calm mind. Darkness fades in brilliant light. We rise together. Damn! I think this is a very subtle way the developers are showing off their game. Yo, we got the headband of refuge. Damn, that's cool. Oh, it's so pretty. It's golden, actually. But, you know, as for right now, I'm gonna stick to my straw hat. You know, I like the badass look of it. A hot spring sounds so good right now. I know what you mean, bro. Especially since you had a long day. So I'm just saying, Clankatron, I hope, I hope your channel is a success. I hope you keep it whatever you're doing, you know? Um, and definitely, man, I think like one of the, you, you definitely showcase at the moment a great content creator uh, trait, which is like you learn from your mistakes. So definitely, man, keep at it. Whoa, it's so beautiful from here. Damn, look at that daylight. Okay, I'm gonna check the map. Whoa, we made it here. Damn. Alright, chill. 
Um, I think I like to go here. So apparently someone mentioned seeing a samurai alive in Kashine. If another samurai made it out of Komoda Beach, I need to find out who it is. So if I complete this, I will get a minor stealth charm and 10 linen and a minor legend increase. So let's set that for our course. I think we might have to face like a bunch of Mongols. I think it's that, that side. Man, I gotta sw swim back across. Yo, thank you for checking out Kaya's Instagram, Clank. Uh, Kaya is my cat. I adopted like, I think about two months ago. I think coming on three. So. By the way, Clankatron, like what kind of content are you creating in the first place when it comes to like streaming or YouTube? And also, you know, I don't know if like your name is like very like, like why do you have to have Clankatron 4? Why can't you just call yourself Clankatron? If you want people to remember your name. Yo, let me call, call my horse. Damn, this is like astoundingly beautiful, man. Old trading post, we definitely freed this. But right now we are on our way to investigate a rumor of another samurai who could potentially help us out. The four just stuck, okay. I mean, if you really believe in it, you know, more power to you. But uh, I'm just saying, you know, it, it's not very easy to help people remember your channel if you have numbers, right? Because people might remember Clankatron, but they'll be like, Hold up, is it a three? Is it a six? Is it a four? You know what I mean? Especially if you have like an underscore. Damn. I think this is like sunset, right? <gasps> oh, we got bad guys. Okay, maybe we can face them in a standoff. Can we ch challenge them to a standoff? <laughs> oh shit, spear guy. Oh, perfect parry! Damn! I did a perfect parry on that spear guy. Because I know I can like parry unblockable attacks like that, the blue one. That was so sick. I think they were robbing like innocent civilians. Oh no, that, that is one of the bandits I probably killed. Um, What were they doing here, man? Oh, this is fucked up, bro. I bet this person was just transporting his goods, but then... Oh no, this is like actually a Mongol. So it's interesting because they were actually cannibalizing on Mongols. So it's like Japanese bandits like trying to fuck up Mongols. Damn, that was tight. Clax says there's so many good games coming up and I don't know which one I'll pick. Well, you could randomly choose one. Like if there are like four games, you can set like a random number generator. And then you can like it picks a number you get you know, you choose the game. Whoa, is that a farmer? There's someone on the paddy fields. I'm gonna go say hi. Oh, it looks like a farmer. Holy shit. The paddy fields, bro. Yo, this guy doesn't even care. <laughs> but whatever, man. Damn, okay, so this, like, this place is really nearby. You should go check it out. Clank says there's Avengers Star Wars Squadron and Sekiro and Gorn VR. Damn, this, I didn't know Avengers was out already. Finally off, crazy day. What happened, Sinuki? You got any interesting stories today? Or you prefer not to talk about it? I would totally understand if you don't want to talk about work, because, like, you know, sometimes when you're done with work, you just want to be done with it, right? 
That was tight, bro. We managed to parry that spear, dude. I feel like so happy that I have like actually leveled up in terms of my skill. Do you guys play the game the same way? Like anyone here who plays like uh, Ghost of Tsushima, do you play like the parry game? Cause it's so satisfying, right? Like you could, t oh shit, there's a golden bird. Okay, this time I'm not gonna lose it. Oh, it's taking me to the village. Man, look at how beautiful that is. Why is it leading me to the village? I mean, I was supposed to go there anyway. Okay, it looks like ordinary people live here. Damn, this place looks special. Jinroku, oh shit. I guess there's a samurai who lives in here. Before I go in, I'm gonna like explore a little more. I guess like all these people like serve the samurai. Looks like they're building a roof. A roof made out, out of straw. Man, it's very pretty. They even got horse stables here. Syndicate says a lot of wind guys working not knowing what to do. Oh, you mean new guys. Okay. So, uh, is there a reason for a bunch of new people, like, joining your, your workplace all of a sudden? <laughs> Damn, she seems, like, pretty hyped about preparing, like, Jin Roku's bath. This is, like, really a samurai land. All these people, like, serve this person called Jin Roku. Alright, let me go inside the house then, I guess. Sineki says you fell for like 10 seconds but did not fall. Think I cut my back. Dude, hope you're okay, man. If you feel like it's really hurting, you should go get that checked out. That's fucked up. Oh shit. Yo, what's good, man? なのある様のいですよ。合わせてくれ。そろそろ戻るか。実機にぜひ遊泳を共にされて人力様の部訓をお聞きくださいませんか? Oh shit, he coming home soon. The other side of honor. Damn, I see a helmet over there. Why does it feel like so だが傷一つついていないぞ。おう、シェ。うん。礼を言う。ずいぶんリスサムライ。ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ
この蔵は樋口殿のものだ樋口殿は武士ではない口を終わらせるか Damn He a fake bro Confront the imposter I don't wanna have to fight this guy man I just gonna tell him like hey quit quit pretending bro If you ain't about it you got not gonna talk about it bro Shit Oh shit, where you went? Where are you going? 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 Damn. Yo, we gotta track this dude, man. Where the fuck he went? Get that linen. Um. Damn, where that boy went? Damn, he bounced, bro. Return to the search area. Maybe she's like hiding somewhere inside the house, you know? Damn, I think he's like somewhere inside the house. I don't know why his people are like covering for him. Hmm. Oh, maybe he's underneath the house or something. Is there a way I can access the bottom? Okay, I'm using my senses to try and find where that boy is. Can I talk to this lady? Bro, I don't even know where he went. What the hell? Um Maybe he's really on the roof, bro. Where did that guy went? Hey, what's up, Prophet? How's it going, bro? I almost didn't see you in chat, my bad. Yo, how was your weekend, sir? All right, you guys don't tell me where he is, all right? I'm gonna figure where he hi where is he hiding. It feels like maybe he's like underneath the floorboards or something. Some mighty suspicious people in here. Oh, you remember this part, Siniki? Oh, maybe he's in the shed. I got some wood. I mean, he must be somewhere around the vicinity of the house, right? Because when I get too far, it's like they tell me, like, yeah, I can't get past the house. See, I gotta return to the search area. Oh, maybe he's hiding in the well. I have a feeling like he's secretly inside the house. Man, it got dark really quick. I I can't detect anyone, man. Yeah, he's just somewhere inside the house. Okay, we gotta get back inside. Oh, 
Where the hell is he? Is he upstairs? I thought I already been upstairs. I can't find him anywhere, bro. What the fuck, man? This guy is so sneaky. I honestly don't know where he is. Oh, is he there? Oh, wait, I think I see him there. Oh, is that him? Yeah, I can see him there. Okay. Stop the imposter. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit, bro. Oh, shit. Damn, my character is already tired. Is that like a hot spring? I mean, he's here. Yes, he gets you, Moscow. Conoreto, yes, Conenda. Down, no, 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 Chilling weekends didn't work at all. How about you? My weekends were pretty like uh, tiring. I'll talk to you in a bit. Yo, let me focus, Prophet. I got you, bro. Damn. Woo! Wait. Wait. どこにでもいる Right. Return to the form, okay. So I've been pretty busy during the weekends, uh, Prophet. Like, um, like uh, I was like working on my YouTube like art template so that like I can do like my, um, you know, my YouTube content like, a little better. So I spent like ten hours yesterday working on that shit, man. It was like so much work. I know it sounds like I'm like, you know, like I'm making it like a, you know, like a mountain over a, a molehill, but it's like I didn't really get to rest yesterday, so I do feel a little bit fatigued. Yo, remember there was like a hot spring area somewhere here? Ah, oh, there's a hot spring area here. We can try to visit that later, but right now we gotta go back to the farm. Prophecies didn't know you had a YouTube, got a sub for sure. Thank you, Prophet. I appreciate that. Yeah, I try to make my, like, VODs available on YouTube whenever, like, I'm done with them. So, unfortunately, my Ghost of Tsushima VODs are not ready yet. But if you miss, like, any of my older streams, you want to watch them uh, from part one, it's on YouTube. So, I'm in the process of making, like, more and more videos available. So thank you, thank you for the Purito. Uh, thank you for the YouTube shoutouts, Purito. Appreciate you, man. But yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to also upload like some highlight clips, like um, I got some reaction highlight clips. I got like some joke highlight clips. I got like some clips where I talk about like 
you know, my life, things like that. But thank you. Thank you for considering to subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, Prophet. Damn, we got to tell these people, man, that they don't no longer have a lord. Speak with the woman. Dude, I don't know how they're going to take it, bro. Ah oh, shit, this gonna get ugly. Ah, Kitishimatanodisne.知ってお。Damn, they all knew. What the hell? That's weird. The other side of honor. Completo. Damn, technique point earned. Okay. Charm of Shadow, Stealth Charm. So reduce enemy detection speed by 10%. Alright. I mean, I could equip it. I got like one slot left, so let me get that Charm of Shadows. I mean, I definitely use like stealth, but I, I want to get better at combat. A new gift is available. Visit the nearest gift, gift altar. Damn. Okay, so that is over with. I want to visit this hot spring because I want to like increase my overall uh, health. So let's climb up that mountain again. That was a very interesting mission. I wasn't really expecting that guy to be an imposter. Like I legit thought that a real samurai lives in here. So he's gone. But I have a feeling like, like we might see him again. And I, you know, there wasn't, I think there was an option to probably kill him, but I think he's harmless, so I just let him go. Be kind of funny if we see him in the future again. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, if you enjoy my content so far, uh, do consider hit hitting that follow button here on uh, Twitch. And uh, if you want to watch my offline content, also go check out my YouTube channel. So far recently, the complete playthrough that I've made available is my Destroy All Humans playthrough. Uh, yo, Clank, I appreciate if you don't talk about my viewers like that, bro. Like, don't talk about numbers. And also, Clank, I, I, do, I do have a playlist where I talk about, like, uh, what you need to think about when you're trying to improve as a streamer. So I, I recommend, you, you know, you go and, like, uh, look into that. Basically, the gist of it is don't think about the numbers. Don't think about your viewers as numbers. Never, ever treat your viewers as just another number. Try to treat them like people. Right? People don't want a fake person. They want a real person. Reflect on my code. People look to samurai for guidance, to keep them safe, and act with honor. I can't forget that. Yo, that code, bro. We protect the people. I wonder if there's like a health increase based on like what you really reflect on. The agent Purito hit his mark. No, that's me. I didn't ban anyone, I just like timed out uh, Clankatron for one second to get rid of that message because like I don't want you guys to ever feel like you're just another number bro, you, you, you guys are people. Oh shit. There is a Mongol camp here. We should take a look, I got 8 arrows. It's a little bit too quiet. Komatsu. There might be a guy on the watchtower over there, so I gotta be really careful. Huh? Yeah, I think I see a guy. We gotta get rid of the <laughs> archer up there.
It's a little difficult to see his head. Hey, thank you, Sineki. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, there's like a bunch of people up there. Oh shit, they got archers. Shit. How did he, how did he, how can he see me from so, oh fuck. Okay, I'm hiding behind this rock because of the uh, the archer, but... I think they lost me. They definitely lost me, but... I gotta get rid of their archers because I can't fight freely while their archers are still alive. Okay, I... I think we gotta really get close. What the fuck, bro? That guy is super hype. Man, that, that watchtower is like so far away. Headshot! Okay, that could be an archer I just kill, or it could be just an ordinary guy. Okay, he's blowing the horn to alert the people. Looks like a guy with like a shield up there, man. What's the deal with that? Oh, I hit his shield. I hit his shield. I got only four arrows left. Oh fuck, do you know where I am? Oh, they didn't know where I am. Oh shit, that's an unblockable. No, I can't, I can't move. I can't move because I was stuck. That was my bad. I'm dead. I'm dead. That's death number 26. Yep, that was my fault. Okay, so let's do this better. Wait, why is that guy not dying? That's weird. Is that a bug? Oh, wait a minute. That could be an ordinary person. Where, where are the bad guys? Oh, that's an ordinary person. It's it's almost like I liberated this area. I thought that was a bad guy. Oh shit. Oh samurai, kashine no mori ni itte wa narimasen yo. Asoko wa ikareru onryo no sumi ka samurai no rei ga chii wo motomete imasu. Ima wa ikusa no sanaka. Oh shit, people go into the woods and never come out. Mongols and Japanese alike. Oh shit, it's a samurai. Oh shit. Apparently the Kashini forests are like... The Kashini forests have like, uh, oh my god. There's like someone there, for sure. 
I, I definitely want to go check it out. But uh, I did. I definitely didn't liberate this place. I think I was shooting an innocent person, bro. Oh wait, hold up. We got a bamboo over here. I didn't liberate this place. I got killed. But all, but all of a sudden, this place is like occupied by normal people. Yo, let me get them arrows real quick. All them arrows. I'm gonna check every single tent in this whole place. I'm a little disappointed because like I think this could legitimately be a bug. Kunai full. Supplies. Can I get a steel? I need some steel. Um, okay, I checked the two tents. Oh, we got some supplies here. 14 supplies. All right. So where do I go from here? Let me just follow the wind. I'm going to Kashini Forest to see if that rumor is true. If that rumor is true, we might be fighting ourselves like a legendary samurai, I think. Damn, it's really beautiful. Alright, look at how wet the, the ground is in the morning. That's so realistic. You see that little mist? That little morning mist? I like that. Oh shit, the music changed a little bit. Oh, is that a Mongol? Oh no, those are Japanese. Okay, chill. Alright, we got that boy. Carry arrows, bro. That was tight. Damn. I wanted to kill the archers and leave like one or two guys for me to practice, but you know, I guess that ain't happening. What what were the bandits doing in the middle of the road though? I think they were trying to rob some people. Whoa. Okay, so... Whisper in the woods. I can't wait to see what's that all about. Okay, those guys are just farmers, right? Yeah, they, they are farmers. Damn, this place is chill. Are we in a new location? It feels like I was here before. Yo, we should go inside. Isn't this the place where there was the fake samurai? Yeah, this was the place of the fake samurai, bro. Alright, we're going down there. Oh, there's a yellow bird. Okay, we gotta follow it. But hopefully it doesn't lead me to somewhere <laughs> fucked up. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can see some fire inside the woods, bro. Yo, what up, little birdie? Oh, I think it is leading me over there. Why? Oh my god, they hang some people by the road. Oh shit. Oh, he stopped here. Hey, what's up, Loss? How are you? I'm pretty good. How about you? Tell me about your life. Even Mongols share this place. 
Wait until nightfall. That's when death stalks the forest. Yo, I gotta wait till nighttime? Holy shit. Whisper in the woods. Damn, I think we might be fighting someone, man. Holy fuck. This is the Yagata Forest. Search for spirits in the forest, man. Why are we looking for spirits, bro? Oh, it looks like there's a bunch of ox. Or cows. Your life is all about playing Valorant? Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Seems like you found a game that you're really interested in. That's dope. My life right now is all about playing uh, Tsushima. Oh, there's like something over there. That's a fire. Damn, I wonder what's all that about. Oh, someone must be here. Are these like dead people? Oh, it's in that traveler outfit. Hell yeah. Yo, chill. So are you streaming so wanted to stop by and say hello? You played it a lot? Awesome. Oh shit, we gotta follow the tracks. Dude, you got supplies that can take. This part, you played everything, Sineki. Why are you rushing the game, bro? Let me like overtake you one time, you know? Yo, it's really beautiful, but it's like very haunting because it's at night. What the fuck? You look at all these people on the trees. Oh my god. Okay, they're trying to scare someone away. Why? That is so fucking morbid, bro. Like whoever did... It's bandits. Okay, there are three of them. Let's take care of the archer. Do you didn't know where I, I am? Oh shit, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Oh shit, okay, back up, back up, back up. Okay, back up. Okay, back up. Woo! Yo. This side the bandit's feet. Dead. Ooh, is he dead? I think I shot him in the back, right? Yo, we gotta return to the travelers. So it was like a bunch of bandits the whole time. I thought he was like a legendary soldier or something that lived here. Oh, you're running out of battery loss? Oh, take care, man. I'll see you later. You're playing some Days Gone, Sinekeed? I never tried that mm -hmm. game. Whoa. Iron. Yo, can I get some steel? We've got some silk. We got leather, supplies. Pretty cool. Do we have any other items we can take? Man, I feel a little disappointed in myself because like even though I, I managed to do some parries, um, I still like was freaking out and also like I didn't manage to get a perfect parry. I try to make it a point, right? Like every single time that I, I fight like a combat, I try to get at least one perfect parry. 
you know, like normal parries like, like are like are, are a dumb dime a dozen. But perfect parries is like what it's all about. I think it it feels like so cool to do, even do it. You know what I mean? Yo, so I guess we gotta talk to the We gotta talk to the guy. Return to the Traveler, okay. Damn, that was tight. I mean, those guys were like kind of easy, you know? They weren't like very like badass warriors or whatever, but it was still pretty fun. What is this house all about? Have I been here before? This is weird. Oh, I think the, the Traveler probably lives along here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's there. Yo, maybe the Traveler is secretly the... He was a bunch of bandits, though. しかしその地を守る怨霊の怒りを買うことになり。That Whisper in the woods, completo. I wonder if they'll allow me to go back to the day. Ah, I'm almost leveling up one more time. Okay. Charm of dual destruction, offense charm. Attack have a 5% chance to deal double damage. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, let me see what I got. So, gear wise. I guess I could replace this with Charm of, Sh uh, Charm of Shadows because like I'm like I, although sneaking is cool, I think I like to do more damage for sure. Room at location added. There's a room at location added. Why why is there a room at location added? Value of sake for Tsushima. Um didn't I complete this area? Okay, there's an undiscovered location here. Alright, let's go take a look at what that location is. I mean, there's a house over here, so... We should probably go take a look. Okay, hey, you're like a... like an animal or something. Oh, this place got fucked up, man. Ain't nothing here now. People like clean the place out. I mean, I would. Oh, there's a fox. I think he can lead me towards a shrine. Hey, little boy. Let's go. Take me to your temple. All right, let's go, little buddy. I wonder who lights up all the lanterns at the side of the road, you know? Oh, let me pray to shrine. Can I pet the fox? I want to pet the fox. Sometimes the fox like sticks around. Ooh. Okay, the fox seems to be gone. I wish I could pet the fox. Whoa. This place is crazy, man. Look at that empty, like, battlefield. Komoda Town. Undiscovered location. Plum Blossom Shrine. You should go check that out. It is really eerie, for sure. It looks like there's people over there. They could be bandits. Yeah, they look like bandits, like, fucking other people over. I think they're Mongols. Oh, 
Oh shit. Okay. Oh no 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 no. Okay. I I might die. I might die. Oh, I I wanted to parry. That was my bad. I I usually can parry the spear, but I think I freaked out that time. I wasn't ready. Okay, I can hear the Mongols again. Do I get the run back? I think I might get the run back. Usually it's not possible to get the run back, but... What am I looking at? Stand off. Yo. Alright, stand off. You gotta kill, kill their best guy now. Nice! Okay, focus, focus, focus. Perfect parry! Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, we gotta get rid of their archer. Perfect parry! Oh, okay, that was far from a perfect parry. I should practice against this guy since he's the last guy, right? That's a perfect parry. Perfect parry. Come on, come on, boy. Perfect parry. Oh shit. We got we got we got a survivor here. We gotta end his suffering. Woo! I can hear screams. Oh shit 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 chill. Oh I've I always die to this guy. Perfect parry! That was a perfect parry. I can hear six. Okay, where? Oh shit! Okay, who's shooting me from where? Oh shit, okay. Run away, run away. Change stance for shield, guys. Oh shit. Okay, get rid of the archer guy. Relax. Okay, got this, you got this. Perfect parry. I think that's all of them. Woo, that was perfect, bro. By the way, this is lethal difficulty, just to remind you guys. So, the hardest difficulty in the game. In fact, they only released this difficulty mode with a patch, uh, uh, like, a, like a download patch. That was tight, bro. I really l enjoyed that fight. I I'm getting really good at this game. Especially, like, I feel so happy that I can parry the spear guy. But also, just to double check, I think, like, with my techniques, I can also start to learn, hopefully, to parry, like, like unblockable moves, right? Um... Yeah, I, I want to learn like how I can parry like, you know, like unblockable red moves. But, um, you know, maybe I'm not ready. Gear, outfit. Damn, I love this game so much. Like, I never thought I would love a, like, another, like, samurai game other than Sekiro. I really thought that Sekiro is the end-all, be-all for it. 
But I think I actually love this game more than Sekiro right now. And I, you know, you guys know how much I love Sekiro so much. Like, Sekiro is like everything, bro. I love that game. <gasps> that game really made, make you feel like a, like a straight up like samurai. But what I really enjoy about this game is like, it's like, like using a katana really makes you feel like you're using a katana. It's not like when you attack a, a regular army in like a game, like you have to attack him like 50 times in order for him to die, right? Like if you chop someone when one di while they're open, you really kill them. Okay, this guy I'm full up on his stuff. Can I get this guy's stuff? I'm full up. There must be some kind of artifact here because this, this is like a Mongol camp. Usually they will hide an artifact somewhere. And the artifact is like very interesting to collect because it tells you so much about Mongolian culture. I really like that, you know? And usually the artifact is like really well 3D model. So... Oh damn, I thought you can like, like technically liberate this area. I think that's all to this place, man. It'd be really cool to do like a stealth mission, you know, assassinate them one by one. But uh, I feel pretty like happy with the outcome. I gotta learn how to perfect parry like guys with shields, you know? I guess also since, since we're so close to Komoda town, we should go check that out. Okay, Komoda town is probably here. This is the Yagata forest. Man, what is that? Is that a stone or is that a person? Oh, it's a dead person. Man, he got shot down bad, bro. Ah, this is the this is the forest where I killed the bandits for sure. So that was pretty cool. Oh, you can talk to someone here. <laughs> Damn. Kuta Farmstead. Damn. Okay, so apparently the cost of iron, the woods near Kuta Farmstead have seen more Mongol patrols than usual and there are whispers of merchants traveling the area safely. I need to find out what's happening in these woods. Hmm. It's kind of far away though. Okay, so I'll, I'll check that out later, but right now I want to check out what's that place. So we, we really got to go through here. Man, this, this, these forests are so like eerie for some reason. Whenever I hear like the woods, like the, the tree, like sway, it sounds a little bit like someone pulling on the bow, which makes me like extra, extra, like, like heightened, you know? Let me take that flower. I, I could use that for crafting. I try not to harm like wildlife, you know, like just like in you know, Red Dead Redemption because like there are certain wildlife that will actually help you like like the fox or the golden bird. They will guide you to places that are secret. Ghost of Tsushima in VR would be so much fun using the VR controllers to wield the katana. They would be tight, but you need the space for it, right? Imagine you swing the controller and you hit somebody or even worse, you hit your TV monitor. Damn, there's a whole bunch of like, elk. But you're right, you know, VR would be super tight. I don't know if they would do it though, you know? I wonder how much work goes into VR, you know, like... Oh, what the fuck? That's a bear, you guys heard that?
I don't see the bear, but I can hear him. I don't see the bear, but I can hear the bear. Sometimes you get to see like the bandits or mongols like attacking the bear, man. And sometimes the mongols win, sometimes the bear wins. Yo, you guys heard a bear, right? I heard a bear. Damn, the flowers are so pretty. Okay, we are in Kashini Hills. It's like so misty. I think it's like really early in the morning. It seems a little peaceful in this like village. Doesn't seem like this village is like ravaged by the Mongols just yet. But I gotta keep my guard up because I don't know who's inside this place. Oh, there are Mongols here. I got eight more arrows. I want to use those arrows for archers. I only can see one Mongol guy, but... I'm gonna stand up. You done Chobu! Alright, cry. Focus, focus. He might do a feint. Oh! Oh, I almost missed it! Oh, they got archery, guys. Nice! That can't be all of them. Is that all of them? I thought there were probably more. Oh, this guy is suffering. Okay, let me end his suffering. I don't like it when I wipe my sword on my sleeve, you know? It's like, I, I prefer it when he, he flicks the blood away. But I think you gotta get a certain amount of blood in, for, in order for him to do that. Okay, you got linen. It's a very, very beautiful place, but... Oh, there are people within the house. I think you can sneak inside. Wait, let me see. Oh, they're just eating. Can I stand off? Yo, chill. Yo, you tried to bait me, bro. Alright, chill. Uh oh, uh oh. You got a spear guy, you got a spear guy. Nice, nice, nice. Nice suit! I think I got all of them. Ooh, you see that flick of the wrist? The flick of the wrist, man. Fuck out of here. You can't touch me. You know, I feel sad for that fight because I did like a lot of parries, but no perfect parry. I gotta work on that, man. I gotta be more cal calm. Games like these, if you want to perform really well, you gotta be super calm. Kenshin skills. Thank you, Blazer God. I'm playing this on lethal, so I got that Kenshin skills. Thank you, sir. What's up, Blazer God? You play this game, bro? Damn, that was sick, though. I want to fight more. Oh, look at that. The sun is coming out. Oh my god. Is this place, like, beautiful or what? 
It seems like there's like second floor upstairs. I think the people really came down to fight me, but how do I get up there? There might be a ladder somewhere I can use. You haven't played this yet? Okay. So what is stopping you from playing this game, bro? Like, uh, kind of wondering, like, uh, I guess it's like probably sold out everywhere. Oh, we got supplies. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, I'm a parry god. I've been playing like souls ever since I was a little boy. And now I'm a man. And that's how I know. That's how I know I can how to parry all these fools. <laughs> Damn. I think there's something up the roof. I wonder if you can actually access the roof. Let me double check that. Might be something cool on the roof, man. But I kind of doubt that you can actually go outside the roof. Because if you jump outside... Oh, look at this. Okay, so this is like... Oh, you can, you could have sneak in through here. Blazer says list of new games in the way might wait till Christmas. Uh, I got you, man. But I, I would say it's not a bad thing to wait. Because I never played this game when it first came out. And because of that... Um, I actually got to play this game with an update patch the developer put, right? For example, they, they added like a lethal difficulty only much later on. And when I start this game, I get to start with lethal, lethal. Because, you know, I really enjoy the challenge. I like to challenge myself when I play games like these. So uh, it was pretty cool, man. I would just say, wait, you know, they might in fact like release more updates. Uh, you know, Ghost of Tsushima is like one of the fastest selling games for the PlayStation. Oh my god, this is like astoundingly beautiful, bro. By the way, how you found my channel, Blazer God? Yo, supplies. Okay, I'm gonna pay my respects to Inari God, I'm gonna bow. Yo, Shinto gods, man. Oh, I'm covered with butterflies. I guess that's like one of the ways the gods are like letting me know that like, you know, hey, we, uh, we, we appreciate your respect. This is cool, man. So I, I thought I was actually at Komoda town, but I'm not even at Komoda town. This is straight up beautiful, man. I could like literally like just stay here for hours. Just staring into the distance. Oh, you were watching my destroy all human stream. I got you, man. So that's how you got to know uh, my channel, man. Why, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say hi or like, what's up? Or did you? Or I, I might have forgotten. I have a very bad memory, man. So that's my fault. Damn. We are getting like higher and higher. Oh, you did? Oh, my bad. I think you probably did. I might I might have forgotten, bro. Because, like, you know, like, every stream I talk to, like, so many people. That's why it's, like, really hard to remember. Hey, you're heading to bait, Prophet? Take care, man. Uh, just want to say, Prophet, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, thank you. And I hope you get a good rest. Is there, like, a secret, like, bath? Like, a hot spring bath up here? You need to stop getting games. Last I checked, you have 260 digital games. Well, you should like set a rule for yourself, man. If you're gonna get a game, you gotta play it within a week. Oh my God, we're like super high up. Whoa, Prophet, thank you so much for the high 500 biddies. I appreciate that, sir. You too, thank you, man. I'll see you again tomorrow, Prophet, or whenever you feel like dropping by. And thank you so much again for the 500. Damn, this be kind of like Red Dead Redemption a little bit, man. I mean, it's not there on the debt of like the hunting and stuff, but the sword fighting, like all the other things that they have, man. It's like, I would say Ghost of Tsushima is a league of its own. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a golden bird. It wants me to go up there. That means there must be a secret up there. Okay, how do I get up there? Hmm. Do I have to climb the tree? 
Oh, he wants me to follow him here. Oh, he's going here. Okay. All right, little guy, show me what you got. Oh, he's guiding me towards this tree branch. Oh, wait. He's still down below there. I don't really understand where he wants me to go. Okay, maybe we guys just gotta follow him. Alright, little birdie, where are you taking me? Oh shit, he wants me to climb up that mountain. <clears throat> Alright, let me see if there's something at the side that I can use to climb up. Oh, he's going here. Uh oh. I think there is a secret hot spring up there. He's probably trying to lead me up there, man. Oh, check this out. There's a climbable spot here. Is this open world Japan? Oh, no, this is like within an island called Tsushima. It is based off an actual place. And this is based off an actual, uh, like, historical moment where Mongolians were invading, like, Japan. Predo says that means I have to pull an all-nighter on Wednesday to beat games. Damn. Why not play it on the weekends? Yo, hold up. Is this place controlled by Mongols? Oh, see, the bird actually landed here. That's why he wants me to come here. But I don't know if this place is friendly or not. Oh, it is friendly. Aw, uh, thank you, birdie. I appreciate that. Oh my god. Do you know how rare these spots are? You can train to cut bamboo. If you train to do this, your swordsmanship increase. L1, X, and triangle. You gotta do it very fast. Like, ta -ta -ta. you have to hit it like that. Right, focus, L1, X, and triangle. Well done. Alright, let's see. Now it gets harder. L1, X, triangle, L1, X. L1, X, triangle, L1, X. <sighs> Did it! Okay, now it's gonna get even harder. L1, X, triangle, L1, X, triangle, X. L1, L1, X, triangle, L1, X, triangle, X. Did it! Yo, I'm quick. I'm quick with it, bro. Ooh. Yo, I told you guys, bro. I know how to, how to be a swordsman. Okay, there's a guy over there. I don't know what is he selling because like I've never seen that icon before. Hey, thank you, Blazer God. Appreciate you, man. Hope he doesn't mind me taking his flowers. Oh, he's just someone who can dye outfits. Oh, he I think you can change the color of your outfits. Whoa, you can color your outfits white. Oh, that's awesome. Damn. Armor dies. Holy shit. Wow. You can turn your whole outfit white. But I don't know, man. Like, white is cool, but I don't, I think it's like a little too white. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you would stand out too much. I kind of like the natural colors of my traveler's attire. So I, I think this will look great with something else. Maybe. Ooh, you can get a pure intent headband. For warriors whose purpose and commitment never waver. You can buy this for 20 flowers, but. Nah, I'm good. I'll save the flowers for another upgrade. But it's very cool to find an NPC like this. This is a very unique guy. i never seen this guy in any other town or village. I mean, let me just bow down to him just to show him my respect. Whoa, can I go inside his place? 
Maybe you got supplies here I can uh, borrow. Can I climb on top? Why is not good camouflage? Yeah, you're right. But you know, if you if you're hiding in like um you know a patch of white flowers, which is like very common in this game, it looks pretty perfect. Yo, look at all his clothes, cloths, man. It's all like white. Yo, can we climb here? Damn, this place is cool. We would have never discovered this place if we didn't follow that bird. That's why if you see golden birds in the game, make sure you follow them. Okay, I'm gonna I'm climb up. Maybe I can get a, like a nice view of everything. Why this only good for snow? Not only that, like you're... Like if you cut people up, like their blood will like spill onto you. Whoa, you can see like the different parts of the islands that are getting attacked. Look at the black smoke, bro. Or that could just be like a super big bonfire. All right, we out. Okay, chill. Ooh, is that a bamboo thing that I can take? Uh, nope. But that was cool. Like he had that bamboo thing in front of his house that I could practice with. And because of that, I become a better fighter. Okay, so I'm still on my way towards this um, Komodo town, right? So I guess I gotta make my way down the mountain and then... Hmm... Damn, let me take this bamboo. Now his stuff is all over the mountain, bro. Like this guy is like a straight up loner. But I wonder if it's like because he lives like so high up, like people like don't find him very easily. Like you don't find like Mongols like disturbing him and shit. Look at the birds, bro. Okay, we gotta get the wind to guide us. Okay, that's where we gotta go. I set like one of the villages as my like my place I need to go. Cause I wanna unlock like more areas. You enjoying your emotes, bro, dude? By the way, I just want to say a quick shout out again. Thank you, Anonymous. Thank you, everyone, for, you know, the gift subs. Thank you so much for your generosity, man. I appreciate you guys. Um, and also, just to let you guys know, I did try applying for a Twitch partnership, and I got recently rejected. I think it was like a day ago I was checking my email, and, you know, oh, what the fuck? There's a bear somewhere. I get... Oh fuck. Oh, it sounds like a bear is fucking up someone. I thought I saw a guy jump down. I think the bear might have fucked him up. Oh shit. There's a dude, but I don't know if he's friendly or not. It's a guy with a shield. It looks like he's alone, but I doubt it. Helix says you will get there eventually, just continue to do the good work you're doing. Yo, thank you Helix. I appreciate you, man. You always support me, like, ever since the beginning, so I'll never forget that. For sure. What's this guy doing alone here? Thank you, Sineki. Thank you for saying that. But I'm never gonna stop trying, that's for sure. This guy seems like he's alone. We can do a standoff. So you gotta see if he's gonna attack you. You only attack when he attacks you. So he's gonna do a lot of feints. Nice. That is so sick. That was sick. Brodu says, yeah, thanks to Anonymous for the gift of sub. Very thankful. Yo. Guys, thank you so much for your support, man. Oh, he killed this bear. No wonder I could hear the bear. So I get like free predator hides. 
Predator heights are very important for upgrading your quiver and your kunai satchel. I mean, that's an elk. I thought that was another bear. What is a Mongol guy with a shield doing so far away from here? There could be a camp somewhere. This game is like a mix of Sekiro and RDR2, yeah. But also, the, the, the beautiful part about this game is like your katana feels like a real katana. Like, you know, you know how I complain like how Jedi Fallen Order feels like shit? Because when you cut someone with a lightsaber, they don't like have their limbs cut off. But in this game, you can kill someone in two hits. As much as someone can kill you in one hit. Right? You can, like, it feels like you're using a, a very sharp blade. And this is me just role playing, right? Like I'm, I, I'm purposely walking slow because I want to like really enjoy the atmosphere, the vibe. And you know, I can practice my swordsmanship in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so this is a stone stance. This is good against ordinary enemies. <laughs> and this is a water stance. A water stance is good for people with shields. <laughs> Right? So, so far, these are the only stances that I learned. But you can learn even more stances to uh, fight guys with spears, fight guys with like different like uh, weapons. Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh no, it looks like this, this town is occupied by Mongols, I think. It's getting really dark though. I think it's sunset already. Look at that sunset, man. I own I have 10 more arrows, so that's pretty good. Um Okay, I'm trying to make my way down like gently down the slope towards that village over there. So what is this town called again? This town is called Komoda Town. So actually, I mean like we had like this big battle, right? Wasn't that called the, the Battle of Komoda? Or I could be wrong. That, mean, that means the initial battle really early on to the, the, the start of the game. Maybe this is like a village re like close by. Oh shit, there's a dead guy here. Oh, he got shot down by arrows. I'ma pay my respects. Oh, there's a golden bird. Okay, where does it want to take me to this time? Okay, I'm gonna follow the golden bird. Um, okay, it wants me to cross over, I guess. Okay, where did he go? Where did the golden bird go? Oh, he's here. Okay, he's here. I guess he wants me to go up there, but I don't... I think I gotta cross over the waterfall. Where's your horse? Uh, I'm not using my horse for this one. Because I, I don't know if I have to sneak through. It looks like this place is abandoned. Because there's like wildlife all over this place. Oh my god. Alright, chill. I thought that thing was... Yo, chill. Yeah, this place looks like it's yeah, seen war, but where's that bird? Uh, send the horse in as a spy. <laughs> oh, the, the bird is still leading me. Okay, the golden bird. Follow it. Oh, there's a ladder here? Oh, 
oh, there's people here. But it doesn't look like a, a bad person. That looks like a regular civilian. Okay, the bird is leading me inside. Komodo Bamboo Strike. Oh, it's it led me here. To this Bamboo Strike thing. I can improve my swordsmanship. L1, L1 square. Okay, that's three. It's gonna be four. L1, L1 square, L1 X. Okay, I think I failed. Yeah, yeah, I, got, I, I didn't press the last button. Fuck! This is pretty hard. Okay, L1, L1 square, L1 X. I thought I pressed X! Was, was the last button an X? Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Brodus, you should build your strength again and then you will be the Hulk. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Nah, that was good. Yeah, I got an X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the final one. L1, L1, X. L1, X. L1, X. Oh my god. Did it. Somehow I didn't know. I closed my eyes. Yo, we're gonna resolve. We're gonna get another resolve if I do one more bamboo. Oh shit, I heard their voices. I didn't know if they were enemies. Looking forward to getting rid of your whiskey belly? You gotta go on a diet. How would a horse spy work? You gotta ask Helix about it, bro. Oh, supplies. So, I think I'd like to investigate this town a little bit. Yeah, I went into Zen mode on that bamboo, man. It's a very common thing in this game to go into Zen mode. Oh, this place looks like very familiar. Remember at the start of the game where like I woke up in this town? Is this the town? I think this might be the place I woke up at. And there were like a lot of Mongols all over the place. Okay, we found a record, so we want to take a look at that. So records are very good in this game because they are very far and few in between, but whenever you read them, it's very well written. And this one says, to my love, I am so grateful you weren't here when they came. At first, it was just a ship or two far off. We thought they were merchants from Goryeo. Then as we saw more, pirates. But then thousands of them appeared and stopped right off the shore. Like silent Oni watching us from the waves. I've never known fear so strong I could taste it. I hope you're safe and I'll feel your embrace one day. Damn, I don't know if this guy is still alive, bro. Ooh, there's items up here. I've never been here. Okay, we gotta run and jump. Supplies, leather, linen. Okay, let's go here. Man, they really burned the fuck out of this, like, roof. It's getting really dark. Like, people are still tilling the, the fields. You know, I, I totally appreciate, like, these guys are still sticking it out. Because if you read, like, comics like Vagabond, um, you know, like, trying to find the perfect soil to grow things in Japan is, like, very hard. So whenever you have, like like soil that is very good for growing things. It's hard to let go that place. Oh shit. Yo, I'ma bow back because that's how I do. I'm respectful. Look at the cloth physics on my back, bro. When there's no wind, it's like, it's so like still, but whenever the wind is so strong, it flies like a real cloth. Hmm. Very nice supplies. I think that person looks like he's scavenging around this place, man. He says like he believes in me. Oh, it seems like there's someone inside this house. I think it's like a family. Oh, wait a minute. There's something below. Kunai. Kunai. There's a bunch of kunai underneath there. 
げだよその方がもうこういう払ったんだろそう聞いたよ Damn, she got a baby. I feel a little bad when I take supplies from their houses, you know. I wish this guy, I wish this game had some kind of karma system, but that would be asking for too much, you know what I mean? So it doesn't seem like there's a lot of things to do, like or take, but it's a really cool unlock, I guess. You know, unlocking this whole place. It also doesn't seem like there's a lot of shops. Hmm. I wonder if there are any NPCs you can talk to and then like get more intel. <laughs> you send a horse in and if the horse died, there is an enemy. <laughs> That's like not good spy, bro. A spy comes out alive. Oh, remember this part. Remember at the start of the game, you were following Yuna and she takes you here. And then you have to crawl in. And this is the spot where you found your sword. And then like a Mongol guy attacks you. This is the exact same village. Except that the Mongols have already moved on to the next area. So coming back here feels like really surreal because, you know, we actually started out the game right here. So I'm just going around looking for supplies and stuff like that. And uh, supplies are very limited. So every time you see supplies, make sure you get that shit. Otherwise, you can't upgrade your sword. You can't upgrade your gear. Like, the reason why supplies are so limited right now is because, like, whenever I want to upgrade one thing, that's all I can upgrade. Right? You have to choose. You want to upgrade your armor, you want to upgrade your sword, you want to upgrade your hat, you want to upgrade your, um, you know, a l every little thing, right? Ooh, you see those people, like, looking outside the window? That's pretty cool. I remember sneaking inside this window. Let me see if I can go upstairs. But uh, I think I should probably leave this place pretty soon because it doesn't look like there's a lot of things happening. Okay, can I climb up from here? I think it's too high for me. I'm bowing to the wrong person, but whatever. Uh, how do I get up there? I think I can climb here. See, the beautiful part about this game is like everything is like totally climbable. <laughs> Hardcore parkour, yeah, exactly, bro. Parkour, parkour. Yeah, I remember coming here. Oh, look at that, more supplies. And then we left here. And then we kept running here, and then we went in and I found my sword. Yo, Komoda Town, bro. I guess I should choose one more thing to do before I end the stream, because like I've been streaming for almost five hours. And uh, tomorrow I'm back again streaming, so I want to like keep my energy like consistent. So maybe I'll try to like find another bandit camp to potentially like try to like fuck their shit up. So I think we should try to check out like the first general's field right here. I it, It's like under the fog of war. I don't know what's over there. So let's go through here. I don't think I've completely checked out the entire village, but it's okay. Oh shit, are those Mongols? Those are Mongols. Stand up. Okay. I might die, there's so many of them. Focus, focus, focus. Ah! 
Get rid of the archers. Okay, back up, back up, back up. You gotta get rid of the archers first. Okay, where's the archer? Chill, relax, relax, you got this. Perfect parry! Perfect parry! Okay, relax. Nice! I'm actually getting really good at this game. I didn't take a single damage. Look at that, full health. Oh fuck, it's about to rain. Oh wait a minute, there's someone there. Is that like a merchant? Who is this person? It looks like a monk. Damn, I think I just saved this dude, man. He just said like, please protect me. Oh, Mamori Kudasai. That was sick. I'm so happy that I got a perfect parry in that fight. A perfect parry is like when you parry the guy and time literally slows down. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever experienced. Like for me, like to get the, the game that actually rewards parry is like so good. It's really dark. I do apologize for this, guys. Like, um, I whoa, I think he's going to have a thunderstorm. I want to see what a thunderstorm looks like in this game. So I'm just going to let this play out. I'm not going to change the weather with my flute. I'm going to let that just play out. But um, yeah, we were here before. Actually, this is the place where we selected our horse. Okay, I don't think there's anyone else in here, so let's go look for supplies and whatnot. Man, they fuck up some dude. I'm gonna pay my respects. Yo, you gotta play lethal with this game, bro. You will, you will probably get fucked up a couple times, but like once you truly understand the mechanics, it's so good. Damn, I'm like a ninja, bro. Straight up. Whoa! They really got the thunder effect down, bro. Like, how did they how did they make that sound? Like, how did they design thunder sounds in video games, you know? Man, this place is fucked up. Oh, they probably have like Mongolian like tents and shit. There is a guy over here, but I think he's a friendly. Yo, I'm gonna pay my respects, bro. Oh, he's just burying the dead. He he's getting like some heat from the fire. Oh my god, that's so morbid. Imagine trying to get some heat from the fire that is like burning the dead people. Um, I don't know if I have explored everything here yet, but I think we should look around. I definitely remember, I think this is the place we, we first got our horse. Remember we can select one of three horses and we got the black one and call it Kage. Ah shit. Yo, supplies, hell yeah. I really love the fact that they hide like supplies in very inconspicuous areas so that, you know, it encourages you to explore. Oh shit, you can actually climb up the gate. That was tight. Okay, let me double check this house one more time and then uh, if there's nothing, I think we can bounce. I think I might have checked this part already. Yeah, I think I checked this part already. Huh. 
So I guess we should be on our way. I know it's like super dark for you guys, so let's see. Yeah, we gotta go there. I set a marker over there because I want to explore this area even more. This place is called Trader's Forest. Damn, you see the lightning in the distance? Man. This is like the place for an ambush, you know? Okay, I don't know what's in this woods. So I'm gonna be careful. Every time I hear the tree like bend in the wind, it sounds like a bow and arrow being like pulled, right? I wonder who is lighting up all the uh, the roads, you know? <coughs> oh, there's a villager over there. Oh shit. There's an archer. Is that an archer? Koi! Koi! It's a, it is an archer. This is a Japanese bandit. Focus. That was a perfect parry. Alright, relax. Okay. Oh, that was like so quick, I almost couldn't see. I'm trying to practice a perfect parry. That was tight. Okay, that wasn't as tight. <laughs> okay, this is my practice guy. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. The window for a perfect parry is like very small, bro. Come on, man. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. Oh, oh, oh shit. I'm, om I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Relax. Okay, that's a normal parry. Normal parry. Oh. Normal parry. Perfect parry. It's, it's the window is like so incredibly small. You have to like be super hyper aware of it. Damn, I was good. I'm, I was good. Perfect parries, bro. You have to watch his blade. I'm trying to like learn what to watch. Yeah, okay. I think you gotta watch his wrist. Oh. You gotta watch his wrist. Yep, yep, yep. Oh shit. It was too fast, it was too fast. Okay, that was a little too fast also. When he comes over his like left shoulder, he's like quicker. Oh, when he goes over his left shoulder, he's like way quicker. Somehow I know when he's gonna go left or right. Oh, I'm dead. 
<laughs> he kicks me while I'm down. <laughs> 28 deaths. Okay, so here's the thing. Death isn't everything, right? Like for me, winning is like one thing, but I want to win it like the right way. Was that, was this the place? Do I get a run back? Oh no, it's behind me, I think. That's where I came from. Okay. So hopefully they're still there or it would kind of suck if they're not. I mean, I do see some people, but I can't really tell if they're bandits. Stand up. Oh, those are Mongols. Oh, you're fighting at daybreak. All right, attack me, bro. Nice suit. Okay, we be better be careful of like uh, fucking archers. Two for the price of one. Damn, that was sick. You saw that perfect parry against the guy with the spear and I killed like the shield guy also. Oh, there's more of him. Oh, this guy is bullying this, the people. I gotta learn how to parry this guy more efficiently. These are all normal parries. Oh shit, that really hurt. I can't seem to perfect parry this guy. I think my timing is like really off. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's like the, the window to perfect parry this guy is really small. Nice suit. Okay, that was one. Okay, these are all normal parries. Alright, relax, relax. Oh, that was too close. Yep, the window is very small. Alright, just do some normal parries first. Oh, that was tight! Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, relax. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta escape from combat to regenerate health. Damn. All I wanna do is train, you know? Oh, they got even more more Mongol soldiers. Those guys don't play, man. You see those guys on the uh, the thing? I could potentially kill one. Okay, there's a archer. Okay, we gotta get rid of the archer. So this is really a playground for like Mongols. Headshot. Headshot. Damn, man, I'm good. They be should. Oh, there's like, like there are archers all over like the town. I got about ten more arrows. 
I'm trying to get rid of the archers so I can... So I can focus on the infantry, man. This place is pretty big. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, okay. This guy's for real, this guy's for real. Oh, perfect parry! Oh, that's the boss, that's the boss. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> I fucked up, I fucked up. I didn't know who was coming at me first. It was my fuck up. It was my fuck up. But that was tight. I parried a full armor guy with uh, a spear. This is called Furuta... Oh, kill an enemy with a kunai. Okay. okay, you get bonus also. Alright, focus. Ooh, tight! Oh shit. Okay, this guy's on to me. Shield guys are a whole nother level, bro. When it comes to parry. Okay. Uh, let me take this. Uh, we gotta get rid of the archers. Let me put away my blade. Okay, where are their archers? I wonder if I can challenge anyone to a standoff over here. Damn, okay, relax, relax, got this. Oh! That was a perfect parry. Oh shit, shit, shit. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, I'm gonna try to parry this guy perfectly, man. Why is he running away? Fuck, bro. Come on, bro. I'm right here. Can I kill this guy, Kunai? Can we kill another guy with kunai? Uh, I want to get the bonus, bro. Find and observe the Mongol leader. Bro, I'm good, bro. Easy. Oh, there we go, there we go. King Twain. Oh, shit. There was a new move. There was a new move. There was a new move. Ah shit, I should have used the kunai. Uh, okay, maybe you should kill one of the guys.
Oh man, I wasted my kunai. Bro, I'm right here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Jet is the leader. That's the leader. Flash or steel? Oh! Oh come on! Come on! I I per I I perfectly parried that. Okay, that was my bad. At least like maybe I get to accomplish the challenges again. Dude, okay, I fucked up. Like I can't parry the spear, guys. But I get I freaked out when it when it came to the um. He came to the, uh, the, the, the leader guy. Alright, here we go. Alright, focus. He's gonna attack. He's gonna attack. Gotcha, boy! Got one. Got two. Nice. Woo. Okay. That was clean. That was clean. Let's end this guy's suffering. Okay, we gotta get rid of the, 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 like, the guys, the archers again. But that was better. I, I still have to learn how to not freak out when it comes to the leader. I think, like, part of the me freaking out is because, like, the leader is, like, like, he has more armor and shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I killed him before he could blow the horn. Oh, wait a minute. Headshot! Okay, where the fuck was the leader, man? Oh, there's another guy on the horse. Headshot! Oh shit. I didn't know there was a thing here. Like the people here are like, like just chilling. They're working. They're like, yeah, samurai fighting some Mongols. Okay, where the hell is their leader? Okay, we gotta look for some supplies while we are here. Take some iron because I think like once we liberate this whole place, there might be potentially no more like like supplies and shit. Linen. Oh. Yeah, their leader is coming out. Their leader seems to be running at someone. I wonder what he's running at. Headshot. Oh, okay, let's fight the leader. Oh, wait! No, 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 Okay, calm down, calm down. Oh! Okay, you can't block that. No matter what, you can't block an unblockable. You have to parry it. Ah, shit. Why did they start me immediately outside the camp? Damn, bro. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, focus. Is that one of the challenges? You 
see that? You see that, Perry? Headshot. Man, did I, did I complete the challenges? I think I did complete the challenges, right? Find him, observe the Mongol uh, leader. Why do I have to observe him? Where the hell is he? Headshot! Okay, there's a guy here we could assassinate, I guess. Oh shit, did someone blow the horror horn? Ooh. Man, that was brutal. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, spear guy? Oh shit. And suffering? And suffering? Okay, where the hell's the leader? Dude, look, look at that blood splash on the floor. That was sick. Alright, where the hell's the leader? Oh, Kunai. Okay, the archers are done. Oh, I think I can kind of see the leader. I think we can try to hide near the thing. Yeah, he's inside here for sure. I think he's freaking out. Yeah, he sent out a guy. Headshot. Yeah, there are leaders inside, but I don't know why one of the, the things is to like try to like observe the leader. Oh, you can observe him. Leader observe. Kill or observe more leaders to unlock wind stands. Okay, uh, can I save? I, I would like to fight him, but I, I want to save first. Hopefully the save can actually help me, but I don't know. Okay, let's fight him straight up. Sick. Man. Oh, we can end his suffering, I think. Damn, that was tight. It, it feels like when it comes to Mongolian leaders, you can observe them a lot more. You can get like double the points if you observe them first and then you kill them. So the whole time when I fought Mongol leaders and I never observed them, I just like... Oh shit. F fuck this guy, man. This guy... Woo! I'm the man of the people. Yo, do you have any supplies here? There's gotta be more Mongolian people here, right? Oh shit, there's more upstairs. Um, I wonder if you can get up from the window from here. Yo, he just chillin' bro. Ooh, that's tight. Yeah, I'm gonna put this guy out of his misery. Easy! Give me that.
Oh, people are coming back up here. Nice. <laughs> I hope they do something about the bodies though. It'd be kind of funny if you come back here and they still like keep the dead bodies. I think that should be all of them, right? Oh, there's another one. Can I challenge this guy to fight? Oh shit. This is a big boy. Oh shit! Oh, there's two of them. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Fuck this guy, man. Come on, I'm right here. Oh shit. More archers? Perfect parry. Come on, bro. I can deflect your arrows all day. One more. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't see the guy with the spear. Okay. Perfect parry. Perfect parry. All day. All day, man. All day. Perfect parry. Yo, Sakai Katana available. Ooh. Oh, that's because I got some steel, right? I can upgrade the sword some more. I'm getting strong. Yo, perfect parries all day, man. Damn, we got some loot around. It's gotta be some relic or something, I think. Whoa, what the fuck? Damn, this guy got loot. That's kunai. I don't need kunai. How about this guy? Kunai. I don't need kunai. I should use my kunai some more, man. I don't really use my kunai that much because it seems like so bitch. Like, imagine you just like fucking like kunai some dude instead of fighting him straight up. That's like so bitch. Gotta be like more than bitch. You gotta be a real man. It's so hard to put down this game, right? Because it takes a while to really warm up. Like, to really get good at your parries and whatnot. Damn. Why are people still crying? I thought we just got rid of everyone. Ooh. Any supplies? Nope. Man. So, did we liberate this place? Furuta village complete. Hell yeah. Um, yo. This is tight, bro. Okay, we gotta look around for any like artifacts and shit. Hmm. I'm pretty surprised that I haven't found any artifacts yet. I think like artifacts. Oh, stand off. Yutekui. There's still more of them. Ah, come on, boy. Come on, boy. You want some of this? Sick. Oh, they got some archers inside this building. Right? Alright, focus, focus. Alright, this is a big boy. This is a big boy. Alright. Big boy first. Relax, relax, relax. Spear boy. Alright, here boy, here boy. Oh shit. Oh shit! Woo! See that perfect parry? Yo, I don't play around, bro. These guys ain't that even that hard. They used to be so hard, man, when I haven't figured out like each individual enemy. But you know, I kind of get the gist of like how each individual like fights. Like a guy with the shield, a guy with the spear, things like that. 
Damn, give me that arrow, boy. I thought we got done like killing all the uh freaking people here. It's kind of weird. I, it almost feels like they respawn for no reason. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you look at the map, they actually said like, I freed this place. But I guess maybe I didn't really check the house. Or maybe they did respawn because I remember killing their leader like right here. So I'm actually going around the house like looking for artifacts and shit, but I don't think they have an artifact here. Yeah, man. Ooh, supplies. Thank you. I think we really clean house. I think there must be like a fucking hundreds of like fucking Mongols here I killed. Alright, be good. Yo, if you guys like my content, make sure you click that follow button. I would really appreciate that. Uh, my name is Oats. I'm a variety gaming streamer. And today I've been streaming for five hours now. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been here already. Kinda remember people crying and shit, but yeah. Damn. The details in this game is incredible. Okay, so I don't really think I think we search everywhere, right? For items. I'm still trying to look around some more in case I miss out a house or two. But it almost feels like I got all of them. Oh, we got ladder. Hell yeah. We should definitely go back to like a swordsmith to get an upgrade. Ooh. What we got? We got this thing right here. Iron. Sick. Steel is like more rare, I think, but I don't even know how I got steel. Maybe I got it from defeating the bad guys. Like, it's like a reward, maybe. Have I been here? I think so. Oh shit. Took some damage. I wonder if you can access that burner over there. You see that thing cooking? Can you do anything here? Nope. This place is kind of cleared out. Like, even the civilians are gone. Yeah, everyone is missing. Man, the civilians are gone. I think that's it. We completed this entire place. Ain't no survivors left. It's a little too quiet. Okay, so th there's a location behind me. We want to go check that out. You know, I said like I would like once I cleared out in a major area, I would quit the game. But like I can't bro. This game is too addictive. I'm having too way too much fun. Damn, I think it's almost going to be sunset. So we better push through. Whoa, look at the white fields. First general's field. Why did they call it like that? Oh, there's a dead person here. Damn, it'd be beautiful in here, man. Oh, there's a golden bird. We should follow it. It's like, it appears like very often, the golden bird. Everywhere I go, it's like, there's like golden birds like everywhere. Uh-oh, it flew over. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit! <laughs> shit! The bird tricked me, bro. Yo, I'm dead. I'm dead. What the fuck? Death number thirty-two. Yo, what the fuck, bro? All right, where's the golden bird again? 
Yo, that golden bird led me towards a fucking bear. Stupid bird. Okay, I gotta be sneaky sneaky about it. Pillar of Honor. Ooh, there is a Pillar of Honor. Where the fuck is that bear again? Pay my respects. Damn, Genbu's darkness for warriors to celebrate the shadows. This is so sick. Alright, I'll equip it. Looks pretty badass. It looks like some something like a villain would wear or carry. Damn. Yo, hold up though. Where that bear is though? Okay, see, if I head over there, like, there's like something. It feels like a, kind of like a pagoda. Oh shit. Is there anyone alive here? It feels like all the people here are dead. Damn. Oh, these people got slaughtered. These are all like Japanese soldiers. I don't even see any Mongol soldiers. It looks like they got ambushed because they got they got like rained on by arrows and shit. Oh, wind chime. Nah, I don't need wind chimes. Arrow? Oh, I could use more arrows. I need one more arrow. Hmm. What's the deal with this place though? It feels like everything almost looks like brand new, like really untouched, but at the same time it's like everyone here is dead. Damn, lots of dead samurai. It's getting really late. Uh I'm gonna climb up that watchtower just to see like if I can find anything. Ooh, that's a banner. Can I take that? What if I hit this bell? <laughs> ah, I thought you could hit the bell. Man, this banner looks fresh, but I can't seem to take it. Why would there be a place here if you can't do anything? Like... Oh, is that the camp? Oh shit, that's fucked up! Damn, they hanged all the people here. Oh shit, my battery's low. Yeah, my uh, dual shock batteries are pretty low, guys. I wonder if you should follow the um, the firefly. Ooh. There's a relic record. Ooh, nice. What happened in Komoda? Day 1. Day is gone. Fire still go. Smoke can't find Toku. Day 3. Find stale rice ball this morning. Tastes better than a pear from Shimano. Day 7. Smoke finally go away. Sun is shining. Maybe we live. Day 9. Thought sun would bring Toku out. No, but talk with survived person from Kashine. So maybe there, there is hope. Wish my writings better. Day, it doesn't matter what day it is. Found Toku today. Bury Toku by her favorite little waterfall. Now my turn, Toku, my Toku. Oh, that's so morbid. It's a little fucked up. Oh, there's a house over there. Oh, shit. Oh, those are Mongolian warriors. Oh, shit, shit, shit. 
Okay, I might die. I might die, but you know. Okay, we're gonna kill the guy with the, the bow and arrow. Okay, relax, relax, relax. Oh shit! No, no, no! That was unblockable. Why? Why does that guy have an unblockable? Oh shit! No, 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 no! Okay, I gotta go on the offense. Why do they? Why do they have unblockables, man? And why are they running away? Are they hiding? Why are they hiding like that? Are they trying to be sneaky? I don't get this dude, man. Shit. This guy is kind of lost. Holy shit. I almost thought I was going to die. Those are Mongol patrols. Did someone just cough? Oh, someone's still alive. Nice suit. <laughs> I heard someone cough. I was like, what the fuck? Damn. Cold blooded, bro. So, they were like patrolling out of that village over there. What's the deal? Is there something here? I'm heading to a location called Furuta Village. I already cleared that. Man, that was probably a pretty good accomplishment. Like I cleared out an entire like um, actual armored patrol. Like I usually don't even like, you know, challenge armored patrols because I'm really afraid. Like I, I'm usually unsuccessful, but I think I really got stronger, man. Man, what the hell? Okay, so we are going deeper and deeper into the um, the battlefield. I don't think anyone is alive over here. What was that sound? I, I heard something that almost sounded like a bear. He was like, quack. Shit. Yeah, there ain't no items here, man. Maybe there's an item somewhere here. No, nothing. I guess we can go higher up to that pagoda over there. Don't really know what's up. What's what's up? What's with that shit? Oh, they got some Mongols there. Okay, I gotta save. I haven't saved in a hot minute, so I don't want to lose some decent progression. Okay, my controller batteries are really fucking low. What the fuck? Damn, that was tight. Couldn't save them from those villagers though, so that was sad. <laughs> I should have been quicker. I should have probably used the kunai. Man, why am I why am I so against using the kunai, bro? I should start using that shit more. This place is called Saicho's Point.
All right, take it easy. I could be the only one here, but there could be like be a whole fucking army up here. Komoda Lighthouse. Oh, this is a lighthouse? I thought it was a pagoda, like something religious. Okay, I don't see any bad guys around the area, so we should go upstairs to check it out. There's items, a wood. Ain't nobody here, man. Damn. Ignite lighthouse fire. Is there a reason why we're igniting the lighthouse fire? Ooh, my legend grows. I think this is actually part of a quest. But we probably got here like too early, you know? Isn't it a bad idea to light the lighthouse since like Mongol ships are like all like coming here? <laughs> I mean, maybe they're already here. They don't need the lighthouse. But um, yeah, man, you know how it is. Damn, look at that tree. What a weird ass tree. Ooh, there's a camp down below. <laughs> Alright, I swear to god, that's gonna be my final fight today. Cause my, my controller battery is like li li like literally dead. It has no more battery left. Are those like bandits or mongols? I can't tell. I think those are Mongols. Yeah, that guy looks like a Mongol. Oh wait, those are friendlies. Interesting. Damn, everyone knows my name. Oh,しゅ。竹を切るか。Oh man, brother died. This Damn, I'm like super official. What are they doing here, man? Um Yeah, I, I really thought that this would be like a spot where bandits would be hanging out, but I guess that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, today I racked up my deaths to 32, but I learned a lot along the way, especially with fighting, um, you know, Mongol like leaders and shit. So anyway, guys, if you enjoy my content, you'd like to see more in the future, uh, do me a favor, hit that follow button. I would really appreciate that. But uh, I'm going to call it right here. Just want to say a special thanks to everyone who lurked, who participated in chat and all that. Thank you very much. Um, i probably going to be back tomorrow. So here's my schedule. If it's really hard to remember my schedule, make sure you just click that notification button so that whenever I go live, you'll be instantly notified uh, by your phone if you're on the app. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. I'll be back with more Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, take care, guys.